Hello people and welcome to the stream. Let's give me a quick second here, we should be okay. Make sure everyone's good and live. I have to get used to switching out these <laughs> little media sources as we start the stream. Okay, but I think we're all good. Who do we have? Eggsy, uh, Jennifer, Rene, Tim. Jen again, Tim again, Eggsy. Oh, Brad Stanton became a YouTuber. Thank you so much, Brad. Already, mate. Thank you so much for, for the stream, uh, for the, the support, mate. <laughs> really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad I woke up 30 minutes ago. Had a feeling there'd be a sneaky stream today. Had a correct feeling, Jen. Welcome into the stream. How are you? Hey, Mickey. Rene. Yeah, how is everyone? Happy Saturday, guys. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna. We're obviously not live in ILOs today, um, as normal. I just wanted to do some vanilla detailing in the Noobs Guide City. There's some little bits and pieces that need to be picked up. Uh, just sort of little refinements, so just have a couple of chill hours uh, detailing the city. And uh, we also have a little fly around it again uh, today because it's been a while since you guys have seen a lot of the cities, so or a lot of this city. And, you know, it's all super walkable now and all really nice, and you guys don't get to see this anymore. So we'll do a little bit of a tour around Noob Joke as well today uh, as a break in between the detailing. Okay, catching my first live stream. Welcome in, 24 Badger. It's nice to have you here, buddy. How are you? Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay, hey Beth, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, yeah, so I just want to start out by doing some work over this side of the city. So this is like right where we started. And uh, we're going to start clearing this out. There's also some asset refinement that needs to be done in this city as well. Some horrific vanilla assets have been allowed to grow. Such as this one. So we'll... <laughs> we'll have to demolish them and take good care as to what grows back in, of course. Hate the awful vanilla assets. Good morning, guys. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you too, Jen. Lovely to see you too. Hey, Brad. Benov. Bulletproof blouse. Caught a live stream for once. Welcome in. We've got a couple of live stream virgins tonight. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. I've seen none of Noob's Guide, so looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll do some little tours, Exy. Kind of show you off how, how the city's looking, mate. Once we are, uh, once we get into the stream. But yeah, there's a nice little space here that I think is just perfect for a little bit of Parkland. Okay, now we'll see what we can do with this. So I also wanted to try something. Um, if we grab a part life path with decorations, because of course we can change these now. Okay, so if we were to go from like here to here, and then line the trees up, and then change this into one of the content creator trees, probably a palm. It does kind of perfectly frame the monorail if we upgrade them into palms like that in the vanilla game. I think I'm fairly happy with that. Hey, if you can do, welcome into the stream. Dartho as well. Welcome in, guys. So I think I can get away with that. We'll start bringing in some different patterns here. Lots of fencing in today as well. Of course, you can just achieve the same thing by having a path without the decorations beneath it and then just do it that way, but we'll try some different things today. I think I'm feeling some park fencing as well. Snap into the grid, because I do want a little bit of breathing room between the road and the fence. Again, for some detailing, of course. Okay. Hey, okay, everyone. Missing this one because it's question with hospital visit now is... Uh, like button hit, we'll watch VOD. No worries, Star. I hope everything's all at the hospital, mate. Thank you for stopping by. Good luck with the visit now. Is. Oh, and then Gary Kleiss. Am I pronouncing that right? With a 499 US dollar super chat. Hello, everyone. Hello to you, Gary. Welcome to the stream, mate. Apologies if I butchered your last name. But, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the super chat, mate. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. Okay, so fairly happy with this. Go ahead and grab some simple part life assets now. Things like gazebos. I don't really want cafes here. Just uh, sort of a simple partland. Nothing over the top. Nothing too complicated. Just something that we can all enjoy. Do like the little palms framing the monorail. That is quite nice. I'm a fan of that. also going to be good if we can actually bring in a path connection down to this main road as well because that's just going to increase walkability for people in the area rather than having to walk all the way around so we'll bring that in as well are we going to be happy with the connection here yes we are that's perfect wonderful a 
finally awake over to catch alive. It's been too long. Hello, Joy. It has been too long. How are you? Is everything well in... Is everything joyful, I guess I should say, right? That's your... <laughs> that's your branding now, isn't it? Everything is full of joy. Welcome in, either way. Hope you're well. Okay, maybe something... Fairly cute and understated here. We won't get the playgrounds in because of the monorail, but that's okay. Thunderboxes won't fit either. That's fine, yeah. I've, I've literally just said I don't want too much in this park anyway. Let's not go over the top with it. Let's do some little prop line tool hedges around the edge of the fence in here. So I really want this sort of detail in live stream to sit in the noobs guide playlist as sort of a compilation of vanilla detailing ideas that you can maybe jump back into the start of the city and go and implement. You know, not, not everything is about mass expansion. Sometimes it's nice to come back to older areas and you know, just spruce them up a little bit. I'm so happy to see Egg Live. I'm so happy to see you here as well, UNSC. Welcome in, my friend. How are you? Oh, Sarah Ducky with a 20 Australian dollar. Oh my god, I'm missing super chats. Holy hell. Oops, my, <laughs> my apologies. Sorry. Um, Maniac Mania with a 5 US dollar super chat. Good morning, let the games begin. Welcome in, Maniac. Thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Always happy to see you in your Pink Floyd profile picture. <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. And then Sarah Ducky with a 20 Australian dollar super chat. Hi all, lovely to catch a newbie live. It's lovely to have you here, Sarah. Thank you so much for the super chat. It's really generous. Sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> absolutely focused on the bush spice and totally missing super chats. My apologies. But welcome into the stream, everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. Hope all is well in the, the world of egg subscribers, I guess. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, so this is just adding a little bit of personality underneath the monorail now, isn't it? Developing a little bit of walkable space. Where we do kind of break away from the road here, where it's not quite as tight in. Let's perhaps jump down into one of the smaller bushes. And start introducing some of these in. Some of the palm plants, which are a firm favourite now, right? A couple of green trees, and maybe something else is slightly taller. Maybe out of the content creator's pack. A little bit of something like that. I'm very much enjoying the kind of overgrown tropical theme that we've gone for in the in the noobs guide. It's uh it's really come off. There we go. And some people now deciding to take the new pathway through. Very nice indeed, I'm happy with that. Okay. Cool. Let's do something similar over here now again as well, because it's such a massively walkable space here between the monorail and the suburb. We're also going to bring some new elevated walking paths over the highway too, near the forest build. All little things like this that get missed out during the detail and time lapses that you realise later on that you think, you know what, actually, that would be pretty good. We should go back and do that. So let's come off the grid snap here, just to the angle. Read this through. Same thing this side as well. No angle snap here, actually. Why are you being so awkward? That's probably because it doesn't want a grid snap, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. If it's not a very slight bend like that, it will uh, mess up the grid snap, but we should be okay. And then again, I feel like there's perhaps something opposite the monorail station that can be done. Why don't we throw in a couple of our favourite part life plazas? Uh, we do have the zoo plazas unlocked, don't we? We've yet to do an amusement park in the noobs guide. We'll definitely do that as an episode, I think, though. Let's throw down a little zoo plaza. A touch of smaller commercial zoning. Some of our favourite shapes and sizes, of course. And then a little pathway snapped into the grid. And then the angle has become up. There we go. Very good idea, Reg. Yeah, I think it should be good, right? Just sort of a compilation of vanilla detail and ideas that people can take. As part of the Noobs Guy playlist, I think it should be good. For the record, I can't give Egg $100 because I need that money for one gallon of gas. That's absolutely fine. UNSC, Super Chats are not mandatory. Very much appreciated, though, if anyone does it. And hey, uh, Ot Cities, am I pronouncing that right? I don't think I am. <laughs> Sorry, just for I finally set up a news guy forest brush. Why didn't I do that ages ago? It makes a massive difference, doesn't it? How much of a quality of life improvement is the forest brush to the game? It's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous the way it just massively improves it. 
And do we want to come straight through here? We might as well. There's no reason why we can't. And I'm thinking now as we begin to surround this main collector road. Wait, this hooks into the highway, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So I guess there's an arterial, right? Um, yeah, we'll just carry on bringing in these little fence patterns with shallow bush around them. Let's come off the angle snap as well. Let's continually snap into the grid. So we maintain those right shapes. And then we'll allow the noobs guide forest to sort of make itself known again here. That should be fine. Wonderful. Go about smaller bushes again. I think we should be on auto default, right? Yeah, we're good. Let's bring them in now. Yeah, so Michael, I know you're playing along with the noobs guide. I've seen your comments, mate. Are you sort of playing with the same little quality of life mod set that I've got on? Things like prop line tool and forest brush and stuff? And you're obviously playing with Forest Brush because you just mentioned it, but got like prop line tool as well. Just enormous quality of life improvements, aren't they? Things that the game engine absolutely desperately needs. Okay, anyone watch Stranger Things last night? I haven't watched Stranger Things since like season two, I don't think. I wasn't massively into it. Yeah. It was alright though, it was okay. Did like the music, strong 80s vibes. Okay, again, we'll keep this pattern going. Probably board a touch more residential here. Mm, no, let's keep it park. So there's going to be a little bit of a problem in the noobs guide. We're about 16,000, or is it 13,000 now? Yeah, 13,000, isn't it, to the next population milestone. And I've got to squeeze 13,000 people somewhere within the tile spaces that we have left, <laughs> which isn't going to be fun. It's getting very packed in now. It's getting big. Uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look at this. So we can see this heavily repeated park and bush pattern starting to make a big difference to the detail of the main road now. You know, not everything has to be zoned. Do take some time to chill out away from those mass expansion episodes and projects like airports and downtowns and stuff and, you know, just let the treasury build up in the city. I often get asked actually quite a lot in videos like, how do you have so much money? I'm always broke. It's because I'm playing like this. <laughs> we just... Leave the game running. Just come and plant bushes and detail and before you know it, you'll have like a couple of million in the bank and then you're usually good. I'm using a lot of mods, move it on traffic manager. Okay. Oh, it's interesting that you're following along with such a vanilla city then, Michael. I thought you would have been a little more vanilla than that. But as long as it's going well, that's all that matters, right? So again, not too many park assets, just a lot of sort of open, green, walkable space for... Seems to enjoy is the take home point from these little placements here. And not respecting the symmetry outside of the monorail station is also nice. Okay. Let's see if we can squeeze in perhaps a larger asset now. Let's go for. One of our park playgrounds won't sit, will it? We'll sit there, but that's going to mean people walking through the fence, isn't it? Because it's not quite thin enough to fit on that orientation. That's fine, though. I think we'll try to go for a little info booth. I could just make this a park area. That would literally solve all my problems. But I'm not going to. Okay. We've got 126 of you here already as well, guys. Thank you so much for turning on. Or turning up, rather. And turning the stream on. <laughs> is what I meant to say. Yeah. My game keeps crashing. Um, if you join our Discord, uh, Afrizal, we can try and help you fix the problems, mate. Uh, one of my mods, well, well, the only mod that's here is Exit, so he will link it to you in the live chat, if you'd be so kind. Detailing equals money. It does cash money. <laughs> yes, it does, Joey. It fills me with joy if I'm to infringe on your brand. <laughs> Something move it and traffic manager quality of life. So to them, it's still fairly vanilla. That's true. Yeah, it is true. I think it depends on the extent you use Move It as to how quality of life it becomes, doesn't it? If you're using it all the time for, like, mirroring and sort of, like, how we built the diamond interchange in Ilos. We use a lot of, like, the mirror functionality for that. Whereas if you're just using it to sort of correct a few positionings, I think it kind of falls a little bit less quality of life, doesn't it, and turns into more of a mod at that point. 
Everyone's opinion is different, right? Okay. Hopefully we can see now just slightly more interesting spaces developing around that key infrastructure, like sort of big arterial roads that are hooked into highways, or big transport networks that flank around this area. Spend a little bit of time around them with some repeated patterns. A couple of your favourite assets. Makes a difference, I hope you all agree. And I think we've got the space here, we will actually come in with a little bit of commercial here now. We should be okay with the noise pollution from the residential, there's not going to be vast amounts of it. So we'll do... Patterns like this. And then we'll wait for them to come in and then we can do some patterns between them with some trees. I played vanilla until recently and then tried vanilla after having move it and it's just never going to happen again. Yeah, there's a point of no return, isn't there, Solly? Once you've had move it for those little tweaks to the build, you can't really play without it. Yeah, I totally agree with that. God, I love your graphics card, Egg. You love my graphics card, DJ? What, specifically the 3080? <laughs> or, or just the graphics in general? But thank you. My, my graphic card likes you as well. Cool. Yeah, so it's all these. See, look at that. It's like a little pre-detailed street now. We've got a little eatery out the back. At the side of the general store. This is why asset selection is so important. Now deciding which assets are allowed to be part of your high street. Makes an enormous difference to a build, I think. And then there's already some walkability that's set up here as well. So let's continue to bring this into the area. Looks like I've gone for a little bush pattern here too, have I? Many moons ago. So let's bring that around to completion now. And then again, just making all our favourite assets historical. We just have a little bit of commercial now facing this park area. Okay, it's already getting lots of walkability, isn't it? It's only going to fight further encourage people to come and grab the monorail. There we go. Not too bad. Let's have a little hydration break. We'll pop a nighttime view on as well. Yes, let's have a little little hydration break and a posture check, everyone, please. We'll have a little catch-up on chat as well. I'm missing a lot tonight. You guys are busy <laughs> talking. Your community is so wholesome. Um, all soft city builders congregate <laughs> in one chat, yeah. Yeah, the community is wholesome, Carlin. Yeah, very much so. Do love you guys. Yeah. How I see it, every modest quality of life. That's you, Eggsy. That's you. <laughs> Might leave the stream because I don't know about this game. Yeah, I probably wouldn't watch a stream that I don't know much about, to be fair. <laughs> Can't blame me there, I'll tell Go travel on tramline. Or it'd be like a first person one. Yeah, we can do. Because the city looks so clear and sharp. Okay, that would, that'll just be my look, DJ, yeah. Yeah, that'll be um the look I'm using. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm master it. Getting decent slopes and smooth roads and rough terrain without move it. No way I can do that. It's not always smooth sailing, Michael. There are some rough areas. You've got to bear in mind, you guys only see the stuff I show you in episodes. <laughs> there are some rough areas that you don't see. Which uh, we might see today. Yeah, so I didn't even have a drink then. That, that was the point of a hydration break, wasn't it? Yep. Let's have a drink, everyone. Hey, Diaxis, Tea Addict. Welcome in, guys. I'm well, tea addict. How are you, mate? How are you? Um, I think I do have the first person camera mod on here, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, let's take a first person tour then. While we have a hydration break. Appreciate some of the trees clipping into this monorail line, which I'm sure is about to happen. Are we okay? Yes, just about. <laughs> just about was a close one, wasn't it? That was a close one. Yeah, so we won't be doing too many of these Noobs Guide live streams. Um, it's just really to top up on the detail that needs doing. Because um, I don't want the Noobs Guide series to become a stream series because it's very much sort of episodic releases for noobs, of course. But yeah, we'll jump in every now and again once, stuff, once some stuff needs doing. It's no problem. I just don't understand this game. Well, this is what this series is for, Atar. If you would like to understand it, then uh, do come in and watch the series. Yeah. Such a wonderful community. I've missed you guys. I just need to get up. 
get up early. It's okay, Joe. You always have the VODs as well. <laughs> I am going to be changing the streaming schedule soon as well, actually. Um, so it's a little less weekend heavy. We'll start doing a lot more midweek stuff, I think, because um, weekends have become a little bit preoccupied with personal life stuff now. So we're going to move things into midweek, which I will announce across community tabs and Discord and stuff, so you guys will know when it comes out. Yep. Still love an elevated zoo path. Are ah, the memories? Were you here for the original elevated zoo path, Sarah, in Bagusia? Is that what you were here for? <laughs> that was a long, a long time ago we did that now, wasn't it? I hope you enjoying the first person tour as well. Please ignore the crematoriums on the left here, though. They are to be removed. Obviously not permanent. It's a, it's a nice little ride into the downtown, isn't it? Especially now that train line's in, too. Big fan of the train episode. And that video did really well as well, so thank you for sort of hanging out and enjoying that. So it's looking so good. Yeah. It's, uh, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming on. It's not finished yet, though. Still a while away from finishing it. Is this vanilla? That's what it says in the title hatch. It is vanilla. Okay. Um, so I think I'm happy with this little monorail system now, wherever it was. Yeah, that's fine. That's one of the areas I wanted to tick off. Uh, there was another little elevated walking pathway I wanted to bring over here. Sort of make a little dedicated uh, pedestrian crossing over the highway here from the forestry town. So, let's bring it down. Take away some larger rocks. Let's bring this up. We'll come on to an angle snap here as well. Now, we also want to make sure we're going to have enough clearance over this side to get over. Which I think we should. Let's come into the grid snap here. And then, what pathway do you want to use for this? Should we do the elevated zoo path where you guys have just been talking about it? Up by three. It is the forestry area, so I guess elevated zoo path would be appropriate, right? Yeah, let's go on to road length as well. Actually, no, because that's not going to be central. We'll eye that up ourselves. See, that's that's where move it's nice, isn't it? When you want to do stuff like that. And the measurement here is 182, but that's not going to bring me central with the crossing, which is going to be slightly irritating, so we'll leave that. We'll hide it with trees. Uh, let's come in with the road guideline snap here. Uh, actually, no, let's bring it off a little bit further because we want some fence in between the highway and the pathway. Otherwise, that'll be, like, insanely dangerous. So we're going to bring it off road guideline and probably to about there. That should give us enough clearance, I think. And then we'll come on to road guideline as we want to hit the pathway. So, you know, figuring out which... Snappings you need for different projects is always helpful as well, which I think we've covered fairly extensively in the noobs guide now Do you know what tile you will buy next? Um, probably this one here Sort of north of the starting tile And west of the ore hills that are here Yeah, it'll be these two tiles that we grab next I think Those are the last two as well And it's nine tiles Okay, so let's bring a little bit of fencing up. Um, I think I'm feeling some slightly more industrial sort of themes here. Uh, maybe just some ore fencing to block off the view from the highway. So I think ore fencing does go quite underrated in the game. It's a tiny little dip there in the landscape, isn't there? It's, it's fine though, it'll be alright. A way for you, Sam, but I know you save nodes. Uh, we don't need to worry about nodes in this map, Exe. I can use all the nodes I want in the noobs guide. Yeah, there's no no problem with nodes here. It's Ilos and Palavan that struggle with node counts. <laughs> well, that's because they're 81 tiles. Yeah, we should be okay here. Okay, and then perhaps in the theme of continually using up nodes, why don't we do a little stretch of nature reserve fencing that sort of lines up the pathway and the approach toward the forest area. There we go, I'm sorry, someone using it. So wherever you come from, I wonder what your path is. 
You are a director at the warehouse yard, and you are going to the plaza with picnic tables. Well, she's traveling far. She's going really far. I wonder if she's going to get the monorail. I bet she will. If she turns right here, she is. Yeah, she's getting the monorail. Okay, that's good. Okay, so already this is getting a small amount of usage. But it's another way back into, rather than having to either drive or walk all the way around. So it's sort of, like sort of identifying little spots of interconnectivity like that can really help in the city. I think I'll go for some larger trees here as well to help shield the view into the forest area. Nothing serious, just a, a light spattering of your favourite tree palette. And we should be good. There we go. Yes, I watch all of his stuff, if you see, both the best. Also been watching the 5B1 series, currently on 2. Very nice ER, yes. Yes, you can, he's a wonderful builder as well. Okay. I think I'm happy with the prop positionings here. Yep, yeah, that's good. Uh, there was another area I wanted to tackle as well, yes, this one over here toward the hot air balloon stop. I wanted to do some uh, chunky path and fence work around this side. So let's grab ourselves a little bit of slope terrain and try and take the edge off of the asset if we can. There we go, it's just about, isn't it? That should be okay. So the fencing on the hot air balloon station sort of looks like farm fencing, but it's not. It's one of the part life ones and that you can actually find with move it or uh, find it. Sorry, if you have find it, you can use that one. Uh, so let's come in for grid. I'm going to bring these up. And then we'll also see if we can fork off around this way. Uh, do we have a bus on this road? I think we do, don't we? Yes, we do. Where were you going? Okay, so you're stopping at the intercity station over here anyway. That's fine. What have we got here? This is high density residential, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's bring in a few more patterns of this. I don't think we're near any major noise pollution sources here. No, we're okay. We're all right. So bring in some more patterns. And then we can just start to bring in the path network around them now. I think I might be happy for a little bit of commercial to sit against this road. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Can't see the forest area for the forest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, Michael, right? Egg, egg, egg. Hey, legit hockey kid. Welcome in, mate. Welcome in. And open mindset too. How you doing, mate? How are you? Hello everyone, good morning to the US in the US. Hey Riff, good morning to you buddy. City layout is lush. Yeah, you like it? It's alright, isn't it? Coming on. Not bad for vanilla, we don't think. The, the birds I've used quite nice. When you've seen like the highway interchanges moving around and just the active city. It does look a little bit weird though when it's bottlenecked into quite a thin tile area. You can definitely tell it's vanilla because of the tiles. But uh, it still looks good, I'm so happy with it I think. Been following this guide from the start and trying to play along. It's such a great guide, really opens the game up. Thank you so much, CS. I'm glad to hear that, mate. That's exactly exactly what we intended with the noobs guide. Are you the same zoning size here? Yes, you are. Awful. So I'll try and get a little repeated pattern of these um, 3x4s in. Since we've got the zoning for them, we might as well wait for a nice little a repeatable asset like this. So now let's come in with some farm fence linings against the grass. Get some nice curves in here as well as we can. Probably go for a little bit of free form action actually. Let's come forward into that extra tile. Then we'll try the curve. There we go. Being quite pedantic about that one. Because already someone decided they want to come through here now. And then why don't we bring in a touch of commercial here, because we've got the demand for it, okay. And let's decide 
Yes, you can stay. You need to go, though. So, yeah. We'll have a little bit of commercial zone in there. So, this is something we've done quite a few times before, and especially in sort of every city we've done, like Ilos and Palavan. But just breaking off a fence pattern with a touch of zoning doesn't have to be commercial. It can be office or... Residential might be a bit weird in this pattern, but you could use it. There's no reason why not. And then... Hook it in there. So that's going to give us a completed fence box, if you like. Okay. And then let's grab some of our New Sky Forest. That's Isles Royal. That will not work here. Let's go for New Sky Forest. There we go. And then let's just spam this out. Of course, if you're playing without the Forest Push mod, uh, you, you shouldn't be. But if you are, then just manually place them. Okay. And once that commercial asset does eventually come in, uh, we should be greeted with a really nice aesthetic now. So we're just going to sort of like boring. Dead space where we've got a little bit of jank happening from a vanilla asset placement. There we go. That's a that's a nice little asset for me. Okay, and then just blending in now with touch of fencing. Tiny asset, a little bit of forest. It just helps, doesn't it? It just really, really helps. So we'll do something similar over here as well, but we've got a couple of corners here now, so let's look for an excuse for a little corner asset. How are we doing for healthcare in the city? Absolutely fine. See, this is why healthcare is just Bollocks, it just doesn't make sense. Zero six citizens out of 46,000. It just doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> I really hope they overhaul healthcare for cities too. They're, they're, they're just park assets, right? Okay, so I'll drop a post office in here, in amongst the residential areas. And then how about we stick it with a actual park asset as well? Including, but not limited to, small playground. I think I'm fairly happy with that. And again, we'll come back in with some farm fence patterns now to box in new assets. And indeed, we can even bring a pathway through this design, which does look really nice. It really frames the path network. If we bring them down. And then let's go for another little stretch over here instead, actually. Let's stick to the edge of the grass. There we go. That's what we want. Sharp angles will make this process a lot easier without the anarchy mods. And then bring it up here as well. And then let's actually line up with the edge of the asset first. There we go. Snap this space off. Let me bring that up. And then if you want now, dive into your uh, prop menus for part life. And there's various different things that you can use here. Perhaps a little pavilion on the corner of the pathway. Maybe accompanied by a couple of little benches. Where maybe people can sit and watch the hot air balloons take off if they like. Perhaps completed with a little bin so people don't litter. Don't forget we are bitter about litter in the channel. And then maybe a little news kiosk over here as well that's set up. Okay. And then again. Your forage brush palette within these sort of boxed in forest areas. I might want to manually place a few here because the forest brush isn't quite happy with the spacing, so we'll embellish with live oaks, of course. Okay, what a much more interesting space that turns into now, right? Especially once we see uh, the walkability kicking in with people moving about. Alright, very nice. Hey, people, what did I miss? Hey, Layla, uh, not too much. We've just been uh, doing some little vanilla detailing bits, nothing amazing. Yes, yeah, the health care is very lacklustre, but it has so much potential. Yeah, it just wants to turn into like a modular set, doesn't it? Like, imagine being able to build a hospital in the form of like the campus DLC. So you have a hospital district, you can add in like a maternity ward, or like an oncology wing, or like a physiotherapist centre, and just piece together your own perfect little hospital and actually have healthcare be a mechanic in the game. And, you know, maybe if, like, your hospital's physio centre is, like, really well looked after and well funded, then the city's sports teams start to perform better. You know, have it have some sort of, like, direct impact on the city. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too idealistic with that. I'm not entirely sure. Let's do a little sort of tight bush corner as well here, if we like. Okay. Hey Magsy, welcome to stream mate. How are you doing? 
Got to run, but love the noobs detailing. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Dartha. Appreciate you stopping by, dude. You enjoy the rest of your day, mate. The hot, air, the, the hot air balloons have to be one of the best things in the game. They add so much to the cities with them flying around. Don't they just, yeah. I didn't really appreciate how much they really added until ILOS. Yeah, you just see them in the skyline. It's very much like when you get an airport, it adds so much, um, sort of life into the sky, doesn't it? Which is really missing without hot air balloons or an airport in the city. Just more alive is the take home point. Okay. The shadow from the balloon is cool. Can we even see the shadow? Oh yes, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I had no I don't, I don't even know it was a shadow actually. Yeah, if you actually can have a look at them, it's kinda hard to see them, but they do look like sort of burnt plastic toys. If you actually have a look at the people in the hot air balloon. It's kinda hard to see them. Um, I think you can do it a little bit better if you lock onto it. Yeah, you can't really see them at this orientation. I think you need the zoom it mod to get closer to them, but they look horrendous. They look like burnt figurines. Okay, so it looks like there's actually a pathway here that's not... Oh, hot air balloon is in the way. <laughs> slowly, slowly passing overview. Okay, so, yeah, there is a little pathway down here, isn't there? But it's not really going anywhere. Yeah, it was literally just there by itself. Okay. Um... Okay, so I'll just walk through the bushes onto the plaza. So if that's happening, let's respect the game. And what are you snapping into there? Is there a path network on the asset? So if they're going to use that as a walkable space, let's actually make it one. So they're not just glitching through the um, the long grasses. That's a really cool idea. It's in the UK. Hospitals are like campuses. Yeah, I think they are. Like, at least most major hospitals in the world aren't just single buildings. I mean, that, that could be totally wrong. I'm, I'm not basing that off anything. But it could be true. And I think that city should respect that as well. I basically think they can do what they did with the campus DLC. To each of these tabs on the bottom. So like even for police as well. Having like a big police facility. Maybe have like a spy agency in there and stuff. Or, or maybe not a spy agency. That's a little bit far-fetched. But... Yeah, perhaps like a K9 unit. So, and then if you have like the K9 building in your police campus, you'll have sort of, you know, you'll see like drug sniffing dogs around the city and stuff. And if you don't have that building, then they're not there. It's, it's those sorts of things that I think will really improve the services in the game. And for those that watched ILOS as well this week, you know how we kind of highlight the modular recycling from Avania? That sort of stuff. But Avanya is actually working for Colossal Order now, so if anything, we should very much be expecting that from them for Cities 2. Okay. Wonderful. There we go, it's just opened up that plaza space a little bit more now, hasn't it? And actually allowed the people... Yeah, see how they're using the pathway now to get back into from the statue of shopping? Happy with that. Rather than just walking through, like, thick, overgrown grass into a tram depot sort of maintenance area. Yeah. Helicopters add a little life to the sky, too. Yeah, they do. They do, yeah. Well, they're very... Uh, uh, I kind of forget how helicopters even exist, to be fair. I've never used them. Only for, like, very specific builds. I've never really used helicopters. Doesn't the AI still have a fetish about helicopters as well? Like, if there's helicopters as a public transport option, the AI is like, yes, please. Like, get me on that helicopter as soon as possible and we'll ignore every other method of public transport. Is that still a thing? Yeah, not sure. Yeah. That would be so awesome. It would, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. It would. Man, I dream to make a cities like this. You can follow the guide our way. <laughs> this is, uh, 19 episodes of... Sort of vanilla play, if you want to follow along. Yeah, if you want to. Love the idea of modular services, but maybe as an advanced play mode. That's true, yeah, it might not be for everyone. Maybe if you want a little bit more simplistic function, you're very happy with just, you know, sticking down a hospital and being done with it, then you can still do that. Has anyone heard yet? Or if City Skylines 2 is coming out? No, it's not been announced yet. Um, It was sort of teased during the airport's live streams. 
saying that Coloss Lord are currently working on a project that's not ready to be announced. And then we're pretty sure it's going to be announced at this year's Paradox.com. We'll at least get a release date for it. But as in terms of official announcement from Paradox, no, they have not yet acknowledged that Cities 2 is a thing. No, they haven't. Okay, so I think I'm a little bit more happy now with this little sort of main frontage. Although we do have some nice space here that could be uh, potentially worked into some nice path network action. Uh, because I'm sort of using the terrain uh, to help complement it. So let's clear out some of the bushes. Could have used the forest bush for that. That was vanilla problems refusing to die. Let's bring up our intensity and grab a slope. If there's one thing that irritates me in City Skylines, it's dead space. I don't know there is dead space in the real world, but I think within a nine tile limitation, I want to fill it all. So we'll see what we can do. So let's bring a little curvy pathway up here that we've just uh, terraformed out. We'll also do a touch more terraforming here too. Bring it up into this corner. There we go. And then we can follow that curvature in the uh, contour lines now. Cities two equals cities VR. Imagine, imagine if that was the that was the sequel we got. Is actually is there anyone here that's played cities VR? I'd be really interested to see if anyone bought into that social experiment. Yeah, it's not a criticism, but if you if you have played it, I'd be interested to know. Okay, and again we continue to bring in our. Favourite fence patterns here now, perhaps a little bit of larger rock action here too. Or maybe some exposed decals along some of these slightly more awkward terraform spaces. That is certainly going to be welcome. For where we can squeeze them in anyway. There we go. Let's get some larger rocks around here. And again, I think just a little gentle spacing of, or a gentle cluster, if you will, of uh, commercial zoning. Along the main road is going to help. I don't like mass zoning these sorts of roads too much. I want to keep them flowing. I don't want lots of people stopping and starting. But the occasional uh, bit of zoning is absolutely fine. Cool. So almost like a little mini nature reserve here, right? It's a little bit of natural space between what is a separately two separate builds. Like we have the suburb over there. And then um, the nightlife area on the next tier. Just a nice bit of transitional space. It goes a long way for bringing a little, a little more life and realism into the vanilla builds, I think. And then we'll line this off as well. Cool. So again, we could forest brush this area, but I think I want it to be a little bit more curated, so we're going to manually place. You know, forest brush isn't always the go-to. Sometimes creating the forest yourself can make a big difference. Let's bring some overgrowth into. And we'll do some uh, manual lights down here as well because we're using the gravel pathways. It's not going to be low up at night time. So we want to fix that. Let's come into city park stuff. And we can use prop line tool with a lot of the uh, park life assets. So let's go for a 10 meter spacing. That should be good. So as I do this in the day, it'd be easier to see where I'm putting them, wouldn't it? We'll have this one lying on the side of the path furthest from the road, because that's where the light will be dimmer. And then again, if there's any inconsistencies in the lighting now, just manually place away from prop line tool. And there we go. Yes, please. Not too bad, is it? Certainly makes use of what is extremely awkward terrain this side of Diamond Coast. Uh, it's very, very steep, which is awful to build in vanilla most of the time. Yes, my house Martin cameras can confirm Paradox has CS2 in the making. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Eggsy's ex ex house Martin cameras, yes. Yeah, Eggsy's ex exposed me. I've honestly got early access to Cities 2 right now. Yeah, just downloading it. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, I don't. I don't. Paradox milking Cities like Rockstar milking GTA 5. I don't think it's quite at the level of GTA 5 milking yet, but it's getting there with a near eight year life cycle now, isn't it? It is. I think the workshop has kept cities going longer than it probably should have done. 
before we saw a sequel. Thanks you, I got my bow friend circling into this game. Is that meant to say best friend? Now we have ourselves attempts to build real life interchanges. Oh, that's really cool, Bad Wolf. That sounds really fun. Um, if, you're in our, if you're in our Discord, I'd love to see some screenshots in the uh, Cities channels. That'd be really cool. Hey, Ruther. Welcome into the stream. We'll watch the VOD later. No worries, matey. It'll be here for you when you're ready. I love how illuminated footpaths look. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, Adam. Greetings, Swall. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you, matey. Happy Saturday to you. Oh, hello. Water issues. There we go. Okay, so let's come and bring in those tree designs. So, you know, if you're sort of watching this VOD bat later and, you know, you've got little spaces like this around your city, I hope you can see the fun that comes with just sort of mooching back across old areas and detailing out with new ideas that you've picked up. It's, uh, it's very much where the entertainment lies in the game for me, doing this kind of thing. Okay, how are we feeling about that? There we go, nice little bit of nighttime part now that's going to take out a big chunk of awkward space that we had uh, over this side. There's even a lot of gas station that's developed there as well, so I'm very happy with that. We'll make sure that stays historical. That's quite an appropriate building, isn't it? Speaking of appropriate buildings, this high-density residential is not one of them. Please leave. And we'll wait for this to grow back so we can historical it. Actually, you know what? I might even do these ones. There's a repeated pattern that's generated here. What are these 4x3s? Let's see if we can get a, a third one of these in. Is that going to be it? Oh, streamers look. <laughs> yes, please. Amazing. That never happens either, to get the exact asset that you want in. Yeah, there we go. It's slightly more acceptable, isn't it? Okay, I've been gardening all day, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise known as real life detailing. That is true, Soapy Margarita, yeah, that is true. <laughs> You've been doing some bush spice, maybe? Would love for someone to do an exact representation of Golden Gate Park in the game. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. You never see too many San Francisco-inspired builds, do you, in cities? You get a lot of, like, New York's and some big European cities, but never San Francisco. Yeah, that would be a good build, Tim. Good shout. Sorry, I'm having a hydration break without telling you guys. Let me, um, knock a nighttime view onto the skyline, and we'll have a posture check and a hydration break 50 minutes into the stream. Or the second one, rather. There we go. Okay, magic when that happens, isn't it? That is like top 10 vanilla feelings, isn't it? Yeah, top 10 vanilla feelings when an asset comes in that you want immediately. Happy days. San Francisco is too hilly. You use mods though to sort that out, right? Spice, uh, spice cat. No, we called you space cat then. Uh, check out Dirty Harry's uh, San Francisco build. Oh, has he done one? Has he? I haven't seen that yet, I will do. I would be quite keen to see a San Francisco build, actually, in the game. Uh, okay, so just analysing the flow of the park here, it looks like we can probably extend it down now. That's a lot of this rock detailing, because it's kind of pointless, to be fair. And we might as well make use of this space. Um, again, we can probably bring in some of the assets here. The district does extend out. So let's bring in a little bit of commercial zoning on the corner. And then we're going to come on with a little, little touch of freeform now. Then bring in some nice little meandering pathways. Down to a couple of spots. Uh, we do have a bus line flowing through this area, don't we? Why don't we see if we can decorate the road with a bus stop as part of the park? Although that doesn't really decorate it on a corner, does it? It's fine. We'll leave it in there anyway. It's okay. Oh, give me a second, guys. I need to take my hoodie off. I'm absolutely burning up. Give me a second. Roasting. Actual poached eggs. There we go. Okay, I'm here. Okay. 
Let's see what's going on. Let's bring in some more farm fencing patterns around here. I thought the H in Dirty H was Hull. Dirty Hull? That's not his name, is it? I thought it was Dirty Harry. Is Trev winding me up? <laughs> his, his, his name is definitely not Dirty Hull, is it? Better not be. Or was it just Dirty H? Is it not actually Dirty Harry? I thought the H was short for Harry. Now Eggsy said it could be anything. I've no idea. Yeah, but welcome in, Trev. Welcome to the stream, mate. Enormous fan of the artwork that you've done for a few candy. It's like amazing. It's like so good. No one makes me artwork like that. <laughs> I just love to. As no to be fair, no, my, my logo is made by uh, by uh, Base. Uh, Justin Orley made the logo for me. Uh, yes, I'm actually happy with that. Don't need to historicalize it because it's tourism, so it only has sort of one look. Hot in England, is that really a thing? It actually has been really warm the last couple of days. Um, had to endure a horrendous sweaty train ride yesterday. It's not nice at all. But yes, it is actually boiling in England at the minute. For once. I do not like the heat at all. Much prefer it to be cold. But I do like the heat when it's in a country that's supposed to be hot, like on a beach. But England should just be cold and just leave it at that. It gets really muggy when it tries to do heat. <laughs> it's not comfortable. Yeah, it's awful. Okay. Again, same palettes and designs that we've taken from our first little park expanse. You can really sort of appreciate that now in the crawl up the hill, right? I think it's nice. Okay. A new eggism there, Jen. Make sure to add to the Discord list. Wh which one? Eggsy. Sweaty train ride. That's not an eggism, really, right? I don't think. <laughs> I don't think it is, anyway. I don't think it is. Okay. So, let's have a little review of this now. I think I'm happy with this little sort of overgrown cliffside park that's developed now down to the tourism district. Again, so you know the land was previously sort of looking like this before. Sort of vanilla, blank jank, if you like. Then, uh, you know, just a little bit of slope terrain to bring up the heights to your desired desire, I guess. Some careful tree placements. A little bit of zoning. Goes a long way. Really does. Uh, okay, so there's another area over here now. At this side of the highway where, again, awful vanilla assets have been allowed to spawn in. Illegal. Just disgusting. Uh, I think I'm going to bring... That's hilarious. <laughs> this guy on my friends list in the bottom right there. He just loaded into Rainbow Six Siege like five minutes ago. And has now loaded up Satisfactory. <laughs> that just makes me think like he got battered on Siege. Like rage quit. <laughs> just like, what this? Let's go play Satisfactory instead. That was funny. <laughs> Okay, right. let's bring in this uh, cycle pathway now. Um, we're going to sort of expand the vibes that we have against the highway here with the frontage networks. Uh, so yeah, we want to reconnect in the cycle network. Let's go for there. Call this muggy, we need to try Louisiana. Yeah, I'm not making it like a competition or anything, Dave. <laughs> it's okay. But yes, I've heard that like the southern states... Uh, it's like Florida, which is like 90% humidity all of the time, right? Yeah. Jen, is, is, is she put it in Eggisms? Something been added? Probably something I've even bought into that experiment. I have to take my hoodie off and boil in. Literally poached eggs. <laughs> is that the one she wanted in? Alright, Jen, yeah. You can get away with that one. If you're right in our Discord, by the way, um, one of my wonderful moderators will give it another push. I think Mags might still be here. I think he's not doing all the work on his own now. Actually, you know what? Just in case we are, because, yeah, let me make Fusey a little mod, because she's done it for me on her channel. So in case we're quieter on the mod front during live streams, Fusey can help us mod as well, since I do it for her. Our trade-off... <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer free modding 
PC. If you want me to mod your live streams, you've got to mod mine as well. That's how it works. <laughs> this is how it works. Okay. So just open up this part space now a little bit, removing some of the more awful looking assets that we're not a fan of. And uh See, I could bring in some more vanilla assets here, but I don't think it wants it. Because we've got a bare amount of noise pollution here as well. This is a highway. Yeah, okay, I think we're just going to forest it then. Um, like Eggsy said earlier, we could use the highway road with sound barriers here, but it's not the aesthetic I want with the, um, the roads because we're using fencing to line them, so I don't want the sound barriers as well. Okay, so let's carry on this zoo fence part, which I've clearly forgotten to extend as the highway's grown, because it just stops immediately. That is a bad egg. Let's redo all this one. Okay, let's come off the road length as well. Can we come straight through here? Yes, we can. Okay. I love how busy the cycle network is as well in this city. Especially along this side of the highway. Yes, please. Hi everyone, it seems I hadn't subscribed to Erwood Charles Egg's channel. Now I can haunt everyone here too with my strange suggestions. Welcome in Gorgonzola. Yes, you are a regular in a few candy streams. I'm always jealous of your interaction. I was like, I wish Gorgonzola was subscribed to me. And lo and behold, here you are. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for subscribing, mate. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, you're not going to let me through? You should do. Yes, there we go. Wonderful. Cool. And then we'll just fan off the zoo fencing as it comes to meet the tunnels on the highway intersection. And that should be fine. Let's also bring in the palm pattern that was meant to be here. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm very happy with that now. Love the ASMR video the other day. Any more planned? Did you have a look further into the Synthwave Night Tour around Ilos? Um, yes, I do want to do some more of the ASMR stuff. We actually have some good feedback on that. People said make them longer. Um, and I think that the natural city sounds aren't really that great. So I'm going to edit in some sort of stock city sounds. Just go and grab something from like Manhattan or something. Like a stock sound file. That's not protected by copyright. Um... Yeah, but we'll certainly do more of them. Maybe around the other cities as well, Palavan. Yeah, just like really slow droning cinematics of the cities for people to fall asleep to if they want. Yeah, we'll do more of them. They're not going to be like super frequent, but they will. we will do more, yeah. Uh, Elevated back path is amazing. Add that to my city too. It helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Keeping it running with the highway. It's, um, so effective, you know. Saves so many people from driving. Running it like this. Or oh, DJ with a tenuous all super chat in admiration of the expertly smooth slopes and that lovely hill. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you so much, DJ. Really appreciate the super chat, lovely. That's, that's really generous, just for some sloping as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, so this highway ramp is not even remotely level. Let's fix this. Uh, let's come in with these ones. Can we come into a road guideline here? We can. There we go. It's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, so check out like the insane walkability that we have going on now. Um where Metro Bus and actually this is two metro lines, isn't it? Yeah, so there's two metro lines, bus line and a cable car line. Um let's look at the walkability here. It is constant and it never ever stops. Just madness. <laughs> it's just uh so super busy. You can sit and watch this for hours, right? Everyone's just heading over here to get on the other metro line and the buses. It's just, uh, just wonderful. So busy. So busy. Okay. So, let's have a little mooch about now. Let's see which other areas we want to go for. Uh, there was some more over here, wasn't there? Oh yes, 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 my. <laughs> so, 
last last episode, Few Candy ca called me out. Um, I was saying in the episode, you know, when we were building this, I was like, please don't leave the one by one residentials to spawn against the train track because they're awful. As I was saying that sentence, I was sat here, and lo and behold, in the foreground of this shot is a one by one low density residential. <laughs> so it, remo remove those. <laughs> don't, don't use them. And uh, there's a few more over here as well. Yeah, these ones here. Oh, get away. Snow. So again, there's some more sort of vanilla package that can be developed in these spaces now around the monorail. I think I'll probably remove this house as well. He seems a little bit weird just sat there by himself. Yeah. There are some great free sound files of kids playing at a park and some distant lawn maintenance. Really adds to the pre-recorded atmosphere. I'll check those out, Carlin. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah, more ASMR person. I love the CS sounds as long as sounds are off, but mixed with egg music soundtrack too, even better. Good, good, good. The area is very busy in my city too. Yeah, it's a big point of convergence, isn't it, Michael? Um, it's basically, if you want to have a look at the public transport map, for anyone that's in this side of the suburb and doesn't want to take the monorail into downtown, then they're changing on these two stations here at the campus. Plus the cable car down to the zoo nearby and the bus line is just ridiculous it just doesn't stop but, you know like most sort of like part life cheese areas sort of have like fluctuations especially like in intercity stops this is just never ending it, it doesn't ever stop being busy i love it and this is what i mean like you guys don't get to see this stuff anymore in the episodes because like we've moved on from this area now like we've not been in the campus area for a long time this is why it's nice doing streams on the noobs kind of thing occasionally. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Wonderful. Let's create some walkability patterns now. Let's come off the road guideline. And then... We were using park fence further down this road, weren't we? So I guess we can carry on with that. So yeah, as I was walking through London the other day as well, I was... Just in awe of the vast amount of park fencing across London's parks. Like, literally every street, if it's not lined by a building, it's lined by park fencing. So I was like, the next time someone says to me on a video, this is too much fencing, <laughs> I've got to send them a link on Google Maps to all the fencing in London. Be like, well, you need to speak to Boris Johnson, mate, because there is <laughs> this, this much fencing in London. Go speak to the Prime Minister. Okay, so I'm very happy for this to be sort of a pallet in the area. I'm happy with that. Walking porn is on fire. Indeed it is. I wonder if bike paths and walkways will be truly used in hot climates. Look really nice in this build. Um, I actually did have a comment on that. On the ILO spike network. You know how it's above the arterial roads in the Mar Grid? People were commenting saying like, People wouldn't use that because it's so exposed that in like insane desert sun with no cover on it. I guess you could do like a covered bike path, but we don't have that in cities. Yeah. Yeah, we do. So funny, literally right on views saying not to use them. Yeah, exposed. A few candy. Yeah. <laughs> exposed. Exposed indeed. I think the green hedge is an underrated set of fences, especially in residential areas. Um, we can't get the green hedge, can we? In vanilla but i agree yeah what the little like the one that sits on the side of the schools the green city's hedge yeah it is it's is a nice one actually. yeah do you watch football and if so what team do you support i do watch football fred i support manchester united uh which is a little bit of embarrassing to admit these days yes i've just seen sarah's comment do we want to straighten out the monorail now we've played out the room yes we absolutely do sarah that's an excellent suggestion let's do that while we're here there we go. Line should just snap into the new frame. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now we've kind of brought up that straight monorail line. Why don't we reposition some of our commercials, or residentials even, um, to sort of respect the line, if we like. So let's come on with a new residential road. We also want road length on for this as well. Actually, do I want to snap to the guideline of the monorail first? I think I do. Yeah, let's go for that. We're also going to remove you as well. Just go away for right now. We will factor you in later. I still have to watch a lot of videos on the sea. Why are there route master buses around here? I'm not sure what route master buses are, Gorgonzola. 
Yeah. There we go. Yeah, everyone. Target. Yeah, Gorgonzola. Yep. Yeah. Straighten out the monorail track. Yes, Sarah. Sarah and Gorgonzola on form. Here in Germany, you just go to court with your neighbours about all the fences. Yeah. <laughs> you could do that. Yeah. Hedge is there somewhere. It's on consoles, parks. Is it under a park prop, maybe, Dave? There's no way you need find it to get the hedge, right? So you, you can get the hedge as a ploppable fence on the consoles, can't you? As far as I'm aware, it's not in the vanilla game. Unless I'm being totally blind. It's not under park props. You might need to find it to get it on the PC. Which we don't have, of course. Okay. So, let's bring these in. I'm aware we're on shattered angles here, but we're going to just bring in the new road network now to run with the monorail. Let's bring in those larger shapes that we're fond of. Avoid the one by ones. You can probably get some four deep zonings in there as well. There we go. So even adjusting older networks can be really helpful. Not particularly helpful, just nice. It's not like this has made the monorail line more efficient or anything. It's just uh, slightly more nicer looking, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Route Master Red London buses. Oh, why do we have the Route Master one? Oh, the, the Red London buses. Um, just because these are really busy bus lines, and I wanted the extra capacity because these are sixty, right? Yeah. Yeah, 60 compared to the regular buses, so this is a super busy line. So, um, yeah, I just wanted the extra capacity on the buses. It's not, I realise it's London themed, but this isn't obviously a London city. But, um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. Much nicer now, isn't it, there? Really good shout on straightening the monorail line as well, guys. Yeah, really good shout. Oh well, I'm easily confused. Eggs is off to search the game. Let's see what you can find, Eggsy. I reckon you'll need find it to get it on the PC. I think you will. I support Liverpool. Still love your videos. Champions League tonight as well. Yes, good luck in the final, Fred. Yep, there's no... um. Yeah, it's, I've, I've not a leg to stand on. <laughs> I've seen United fan this season. It's not been a successful season. And uh, yeah, Liverpool's football is just wonderful. So yeah, good luck in the final. Of course, I don't want you to win, but good luck anyway. Uh, okay, so let's come off road length now. Again, looks like there's a little sort of frontage system we can squeeze in here between some of the networks and then just adjust some of the zoning spaces so we can bring in these new patterns here. Again, we can slightly angle a little vanilla halfway just to create the smallest amount of walkability between them. Like there, okay, and then because it kind of tears a little bit and does the classic vanilla junk, let's just sort of mark off the edges of the pathway with a couple of bushes. Okay. There we go. So even network refinements now in older areas can just be brought in, help you tidy up some of the inconsistencies that you maybe faced in the start of the game. There we go. Wonderful. There is, I see, <laughs> so many fucking one by one houses here. Get rid of them. There we go. There's another one there. Go away. Go. Cool. So I see this monorail line. I guess it does need to go around because the park's there, isn't it? Yeah, I could bring it over the park with anarchy, but we don't have it, of course. Okay. So suburbs starting to sort of become a little bit more refined now. I'm happy with that. Uh, there was some other areas I wanted to come over and just sort of briefly scan up. Yes, this one here, um, to sort of develop this into a little bit of a service centre, because we do have the hospital over this side. There's also a waste processing transfer facility here too. So I think this is what we'll do with this area, is um, sort of develop it into a service. So again, for those that don't know, you do not need to wait for the transfer facilities to empty, just collapse them with natural disasters. The building will collapse and then you can delete it straight away. So let's develop a little bit of a hospital complex and we'll still factor in the waste processing building into this as well. Almost treat it as like it's there to dispose of medical waste. But it's of course serving the city's need for garbage collection as well. 
So we'll box in. I then want this building here, which is one of the Japanese hotels, to sit facing this kind of open courtyard here. So we'll place it down first. And then we'll draw in the frame that will hold it. And then we can spin it around now. Okay. Cool. Are we? Um, have would you ever do a series with realistic population mod? Have you tried it? And if so, do you like it? Um, I actually kind of regret not putting realistic population on for Ilos. Um, I think the size of the Margrid and the amount of space we have to fill, realistic population would have lended itself quite well to that map. Obviously, we haven't. It's, it's done now. But um, probably the next maybe modded series, I might use realistic population. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we'll see. We will see. But I've not really had any experience with it. I think I've like dabbled with it, but yeah, I'm not massively sort of familiar with how much of a difference it makes apart from sort of changing low density and high density residential sizes. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a field out here now to do something with that front of the hospital. Something to use the space with, so. Um, a good thing to do when you're checking these things is to have a look if you need anything first of all. So I need a little bit of elementary school demand. So why don't we see if we can factor in... And I don't really want an elementary school over here. Not with the hospital complex. And um, let's continue to use healthcare then. So we're going to place in... Definitely the... Gymnasium. But I want to do some cute little landscape gardens out here if we can. So let's go with the treed road. And we'll connect straight in. And then we'll place in the gymnasium here. Let's go for a five tile gap in between. Yep, that's going to be good for me. We'll then bring in some pathways. Snapped into a grid, of course. And then we'll go for farm fencing. Just little simple farm fence boxes. This is like a tried and tested little vanilla detailing palette. Everyone loves this one. Okay, I'm going to repeat the pattern this side as well. Again, saving spaces of five for easy measurements. Distance too short. I think you'll find it's not too short. I think you'll find it's actually perfectly measured. There we go. Um, you really could use a modded tiny house. One of those tiny timber houses you get delivered on wheels. Those are work and your one by ones. It's just, it's the awful vanilla assets that just really murder the look of a city. Um, it's almost like they've tried to go too sort of cartoonish or futuristic, I think, in cities too sometimes. And uh, yeah, I, th I think it, it kind of hurts it. There are some decent one-by-one -one assets. Um, for those that watched Palavan, um, you will know we used a few of them during the Clawson build. And the little, I think the University City ones, they're almost like little... Little sort of shacks, sort of like trailer park vibes almost, but not traditional trailers that you would picture. Okay. As Fee said, only the purple hedge under the city part tab is on PC. That's such a simple asset to have too. Yeah, yeah, we've got the, the part life hedges. Yeah, those ones. Yeah, we've used these before. But um, in terms of like the actual just pure green hedges, the ones on the side of the schools we don't have those without find it right yeah but yeah th these ones are great as well the um part life hedges ones okay so i'm happy with this configuration now we're starting to play some different angles reposition some of our service assets here to function as actual service assets okay let's see what else we can play within the medical tab i'm sure a community pool would work really nicely some of these patterns here. Alright. Let's continue to add in those uh, little repeated young linden patterns that we're starting to bring into this area now. I think I would also like, again, just because of its slightly more industrial feel, a little stretch of ore fencing to mark off the area between the metro and the road. So it is kind of their flight like security vibes. You know, you can't just walk onto the metro line. Very much like you see in real life, you know. Sort of big train lines and metro stations are fenced off. We can bring those vibes in here as well. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? You know, look at all the little layers coming into play now. 
little bit of metro coming in, walking pathway. It's all uh it's all coming together, I think, isn't it? I like the effect it has on traffic though, suburbs aren't so crazy busy. I've only tried it a bit and it makes those few milestones real slow. Yes, it does. Yes, I've heard that before. It takes like a ridiculously long time to get to Tiny Town. 400 population without the high density res. Yeah, I've heard that before. I love you telling the game off. Did I tell it off today? What did I say? I can't even remember. I like it when he asks the assets if they're, <laughs> if they're okay. Yeah. Yeah, I do do that quite a lot to be fair. Yeah, I do. Yeah, just checking in on the assets, making sure they're all comfortable and enjoying themselves. So again, in respect of using this as sort of like a little medical facility, uh, sort of the vibes we were looking at actually at the start of the stream with sort of playing with medical campuses, just clustering medical buildings together here. You can treat the child healthcare centre um, almost as though it's some sort of main entrance reception building into the health complex. You can be creative, right? So I think I'm happy to have a little child healthcare centre in there. No power? You sure about that? There we go. See, that's why we need to ask if the assets are okay. Sometimes they have no power. <laughs> you need to double check on them. Uh, okay, so I think I'm going to sort of fence off the hospital complex with um, a little bit of park fencing. Again, appropriate fencing is absolutely fine. Let's bring this right up until the edge. The one by one green city make a good allotment. One by one green city, what, commercial? Waylanders? Or residential? Oh, there's another shout for one by one green city housing as well. What nice flow income housing. Um, do we have any in the noobs guide? Um, green cities area. Did I allow any to spawn in? I think I went quite specifically zoned with this district, didn't I? I don't think there will be any smaller ones here. Okay, let me throw one down then. Also, one by one green cities. Again, if I had find it, I could just have a look at the asset, but we'll, we'll leave some to grow. See what happens. Yeah, again, I don't really use these. I do like them. I just forget about them, but they are, they are quite nice. Good afternoon, Governor. Welcome into the stream. How are you? I believe you were out on the town last night. Eggsy was on taxi duty. That's what you were saying in the Discord anyway. I think so. Maybe also connect the pedestrian bridge railing onto the industrial offence. Otherwise, people will start going down there, throw their garbage onto the tracks, at least in real life. They certainly would in real life. I actually noticed that on the train yesterday as well, you know. Just how uh, how much crap and rubbish there was on the side of the tracks that people just lobbed down. Uh, but yeah, I do like that idea, actually. Yeah, let's, um, let's just slightly amend the angle here as it comes up to the bridge. That's a good shout. No, come off the angle. Oh, Kiara Miss became a YouTube egg. Thank you so much, Kiara. I really appreciate that. Uh, you will now have access to some emojis. But that's not... Offense. There we go. That's what we want. Yeah, thank you for the support, Kara. I appreciate it. Welcome to the YouTube Egg Club. There we go. Yeah, like that. So a little bit of overgrowth actually wouldn't be a miss here. If it will behave itself on this very gnarly slope, we'll have to use a smaller one. I want something quite thin though. These are all really thick and bushy. There we go. So let's get kind of a base covering. Not worry too much about the angle just yet. And then we'll sort of flesh it out with larger, but at the same time smaller trees, like the long grasses from the content creator pack. And then perhaps a couple of shrubs that are just or little palm shrubs that are threatening to break through. Definitely lots of vanilla traction as well. Okay. What a difference it makes, right? What a difference it makes. It really does. Cool. So 
Sleepy, was a good night. Was you on a session, Karina, or was it just a sort of sensible night of Prosecco with the ladies sort of thing? So we're going to check a yoga garden in here as well. Again, we asked kind of serving a suburb here. No, it's all, it's all services for them. Okay, and then let's go for... Again, I think appropriate vanilla assets. Um, if not, actually, no, let's make a little sort of outdoor dining area using Part Life. Um, almost like a little retreat where maybe if they're waiting to visit someone in the hospital, they can come and chill out in the cafe, get a little hospital croissant. That's what we usually do in hospitals, right? Perhaps a touch of gazebo as well, if we dare. Let's go ahead and grab some of our Part Life tiles. Oh, Karina, oh, the governor, with a, it feels so weird saying Karina, <laughs> when I call her the governor all the time. The governor, with a seven month membership party emoji. Thank you so much, Karina, the governor, I said it again, really appreciate it, lovely. Thank you for all the support, and everything you do for the channel, you are loved, immensely. And then Free Candy, with a 449 super chat, dropping my subscriber fees, but I owe you 51, <laughs> 51p. Thanks for the news guys stream eggs so nicely flying around the city in an amazing vanilla build. Thank you so much for your candy. Really appreciate it. See you chat lovely. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying the vanilla city. There's nothing quite like a bit of vanilla city Skyland, right? I think we all appreciate it. Okay, so let's just carve out a slightly more interesting shape with our tiles. Then I'm aware I can use prop line tool here. I'm choosing not to because I want to kind of cut out a custom shape. There we go. Cool. Is the roof off? Damn, we've got to go help out in the garden. Dave's off to do some real life detailing. But thank you so much for stopping by, mate. I appreciate it. You uh, enjoy your detailing as well. I will enjoy mine. Um, do these work on a prop linear fence, Phil? They should do, right? Yes, they do. Do look a little bit weird, though. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Oh. I want the yellow one? <laughs> Wasn't spawning in for me. There we go. Okay, then just the occasional gentle cluster of table. Even maybe bring off the flower bed part and to kind of hug the pavement here where the tile pattern ends and then why don't we go for a couple of bins around the facility and that's really nice as well back in that little cafe onto the side of the child health care center you know you can do a lot with orientation and positioning in order to detail the city where otherwise mods would be helpful but in the in the pure vanilla game Things can be adjusted and we can pretend and use our imaginations a little bit more. Bring a live oak on that corner. Okay. But perhaps a little cafe, you know, if people aren't ready to go to their physiotherapy appointment at the gymnasium yet, they can stop at the cafe. Okay. We can pretend. <laughs> we can pretend. Is there no noobs guide overgrowth brush? There is an open mindset. No, no. I prefer to sort of manually plop overgrowth. Yeah, I do. Full on, <laughs> full on gloves off sesh. Oh god. Have you? I take it you just got out of bed now, then, Governor, right? Three o'clock. That sort of job. Sounds like a good time. How to refill the green bar on PS4? No mods. Um, residential demand, you can affect it by bringing down your taxes. Um, by here, bringing down your tax slider will increase the demand of any type of zoning. Oh my god, I haven't brought my high density demands for high density. <laughs> I need to do that. I always forget every single time. Let's make these 12%. There we go. Yeah, uh, lowering your taxes, bringing in more jobs. Um, I think also there's a little sort of slight bug in the game where you can actually place in industrial 
extraction buildings and it will spike the residential demand. I don't know if that's still a thing. It used to be. I don't know if it is now, though. Okay. You could have put a garbage can in that corner you finagled with. Which one? The one here where we put the tree? We could have done. Okay. Mm, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Been sleeping all day. Very good. It's a sign of a good, good night out, isn't it? Okay, so this is a nice little use of the space. It boosted the city's healthcare. Not that it makes a difference to healthcare anyway, but it's a nice little collection of buildings. I think I definitely want to extend the ore fencing around the back of the cliff that drops off onto the ring road, though. That is really high. So we'll correct this. And then bring it up onto the corner of the slip road. And we can probably just do forest through here, I think. There's a shelter between the bike road and the hospital. Yeah, there we go, yeah, just bring that out. Okay. But not bad at all, I don't think, right? It's definitely filled out a little bit of awkward space that we weren't doing anything with before. I think I'm enjoying that. I was wondering about why that wasn't a daytime time lapse. <laughs> I was wondering how many people have said that joke before, ETLA. Welcome into the stream. I love it when you do the vanilla builds, because it gives me hope that I too can build a city by far along and learning then later I can go out and try one on my own. Yeah, so it's all about, it's just, um... Yeah, just, my practice makes perfect. And I don't think there's a better example of practice makes perfect than cities. Just like, I'm actually planning, um, so someone in the Discord uh, requested a video of like looking back over Fremwood, Bagusia, Palavan, Navaria, and maybe Noob's Guide as sort of like a three year. Because like, we, we have just hit the three year anniversary on the channel, by the way, guys. Um, Well, not just, it was like last month, but I totally forgot, of course. Uh, but yeah, like the channel is like officially three years old last month. So um, I think I'm going to do like a three year retrospective of City Skylines Vanilla uh, video next week. I think that'll be quite fun. And um, to sort of show the progress from Fremwood all the way through Bagusia and then Palavan, Novaria, and then now Noob's Guide, which is the most recent Vanilla City. So yeah, we'll do that next week. So I think that should be quite fun. So that might help you, Kiara. I'm going to talk a lot about my sort of how my thought process developed how I came to hate mass zoned high density residential and how much it murdered the look of my city. You know, so we're, we're, we're going to talk about all that sort of stuff in that video. Uh, okay, so again, speaking of kind of dead empty space that's developed, uh, we've got some little vibes here against the intercity rail network that we introduced last episode. And again, let's check our noise pollution values. Uh, we're pretty loud here. But I think we'll be okay. This also wants to be a two-lane one-way. There we go. Uh, so there's a green cities district here, isn't there? Let's do some little green cities patterns. Let's bring the district out a little bit. There we go. And then we will zone up. So let's go for... Let's try out some different zoning sizes for green cities. And then if we can see a pattern that we like, then we can bring it in because we've got some pretty flexible rooms here to work with. So, we'll see what grows up. Leave the game on 3 speed for a hot minute and see what appears. Okay. Oh, well, congrats. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Yes. Yes, three years of egg. <laughs> Although you can pretty much write off the first year. The first year was, um, was crap. <laughs> the first year was Fremwood and FIFA. Yes, yeah, different. <laughs> different content to what we have now. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats on the triple. Thank you, Waylanders. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, right now, my main city is Village. Ian Mobatan. I can't read that knocker. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Uh, will we ever get another Coco video? That was premium content. And if you guys want them, yeah, I can do more Coco content. That was for a subscriber special, wasn't it? 
Yeah, if you guys want more Coco content, then just let me know. <laughs> we, can, we can always do more of it if you want. Yes, we can. We can. Okay, so I think I'm really feeling these cute little repeatable green cities patterns here. We'll go for these ones. So what size is that? That's three by two by three. So we will now amend all current sizes to bend to that shape. So lots of two by threes. You need to go away. And you cannot be zoned in that style. You, however, can be though. Uh, what am I doing, idiot? They, actually, they need to be spaced appropriately, don't they? Right. 2 by 3 and then 2 by 3 Yeah, there we go. So we can actually get the repeatable pattern in. Would be helpful, right? Uh, JCO Sunshine has been a member for four months. Happy to be a member for three months. That retrospective sounds amazing. Can't wait. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Really appreciate the support. Oh, it's, it's four months. Yes, it's four months, isn't it? Yeah, member for four months, but Jen said three. I'm assuming it's a typo. But yes, thank you so much, Jennifer. Yes, it should be quite a fun video, I think. I'm going to do some nice editing with it. Get some nice little cinematics of all the old cities. And um, yeah, I think it should be quite nice. should be fun. I think it'd be quite interesting for those that haven't seen Fremwood or Bugusia. Sort of the older series on the channel. Okay, yep. Yeah, these are the ones that I want. You're very cute. Let's go for you. You are absolutely fine. And you want to be removed. I actually might change the pattern here where it breaks out a little bit. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's make these two historical so they don't move up. And then I'm just going to bring in a little thick live oak forest around the back of them. Yeah. What I really liked about the area you just completed working on was excellent use of different levels. Thank you, Gorgonzola. Glad you enjoyed it, mate. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, let's go for some little palmy forest numbers here between the green city's housings. And then we can get the next one in here now. Cool. I do love the Noob's Guide skyline. I think it's one of the better ones we've done. It's not up there with like an ILOS, but that's a modded one, so you can't really compare it to that. There we go again as well. There is the next pattern. Yes, please. Oh, let's get these in. Uh, do we need this earthquake sensor anymore? No, you can leave. There we go. So I might be able to bring in one of these little 3 by or 2 by 3 units over this side too. And then again, we'll just bring in a little forested parkland around all these pathways that I get in use. And wonderful. Very nice indeed. Are we growing here? Is this the game actually playing fair with us? Yes, it is. Let's make sure they are all historical. And then one more to go. And then we're done. We will also have a hydration break though. Let's pop on a nighttime view of the skyline. And uh, have a little catch up in the chat, shall we? Happy third birthday, channel. Yes, happy third birthday, DJ. Yes. <laughs> happy third birthday. Feels like a lot longer than that, I think. Yeah, than just three years. I do have to admit though that Ilos is now my favourite city that you're doing. It's, it's kind of weird the way the community is split. Because I'm probably known for vanilla, I think. Well, not probably. Definitely I'm known for vanilla over modded. But I think the first foray into a modded city is turning out quite nicely, I think, isn't it? I think everyone's enjoying Ilos. Apart from the, the hardcore vanilla people. <laughs> yes. Yes, please, to a Coco cameo. Happy belated third anniversary. Thank you, Lauren. Yes, we'll definitely do more Coco content if, you, if that's what you guys want. Yeah. They give me a hard time with the green bar, I promise. Um, Knocker, if you're having trouble with it, what I would suggest is watching the Noob's Guide series from the start and seeing how I deal with the fluctuations in demands. Without seeing screenshots of your city, it's kind of hard to diagnose the problem. I I've been to watch Fremwood when I first found Egg. I think that was through a shout-out from Biffa from the OG Canal build. Yes, that was so long ago, Sarah. Yes, that brought me a lot of people, actually. Um... Biffa shouted out and gave credit to a to the Canalavan build, obviously in Palaban, um, and it blew my mind. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, yeah. And then I think he did. Was it was it Teaport? I think he did the little homage to Canalavan in. I think it was. Yeah, that sent me a lot of people. Yeah, that Biffa video that really did. Yeah. Or Knocker as well. If you join our Discord, you can also share screenshots in there too. 
um, and we can help you fix the problem. Yesterday's build in Ilos was wonderful. I like the city so much. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed the Ilos build. Let's have a hydration break and a posture jack as well, please, guys. If you want to stretch your shoulders out, have a little drink. A little bit of hello, people. Happy third. Been having your playlists on low volume on my side monitor while working from home. It's very soothing. Glad to hear bulletproof blouse. Glad to hear. Have to go about to do some garden work with your granny. Hope the weather stays. Wishes luck. Good luck, Gorgonzola. Good luck with the gardening, my friend. Enjoy. What map is this? This is Diamond Coast from the base game. True North Minas. It's the base game map. I think a very lightly modded series would be nice halfway between Ilos and Palavan. Yeah, I think the series that will follow Ilos is going to be sort of like that Exe, sort of a vanilla plus sort of series, if you like. Um, a lot less assets than Ilos has. Like, a lot less. Ilos has too many assets. Um, apart from, like, car parking and stuff, I'll keep the car parking in there. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I think we will sort of rein in the mods a little bit more for the series post Ilos. Hello, traffic. You okay? I need to sort this out here. It bottlenecks because of the metro station. That this this is an example of poor planning. I didn't account for this at all. Um. Yeah, just. I mean, it's not it's not gridlocked, is it? It's moving. But yeah, everyone wants to turn left out of here, and I can't upgrade this road because of the metro station. Uh, it's fine. It's it's downtown. I don't mind a little bit of busy downtown road action. Brings it to life, right? That's my excuse for not fixing it right now. We'll see if it gets any worse. There's some overgrowth around here too. I think this should be quite a nice addition into the view of the train line as well. Having these little sort of repeated flats now sat behind it, right? I think it makes a bit of a difference, doesn't it? I think it does. Power is out in the city, Egg, is it? You sure, Jen? I don't think it is. Don't think okay. Or was it a nighttime problem? Is it a nighttime budget issue, I wonder? When the power consumption jumps up. Mm. No. I don't know what you're talking about, Jen. <laughs> I've absolutely no idea. It seems to be fine. Okay, can hardly wait. I remember watching your lives and being way too shy to comment. I think that was a live where there wasn't very many people and I finally spoke up while I did. We're glad you did as well, Joy. And uh, you broke a thousand subscribers now as well, Joy, right? You're up to like 1.2k the last time I checked. Yeah, I think. It's good. It's fixed itself. It has fixed itself, hasn't it? But uh, again, this is the problem with vanilla. Traffic lights, they usually make traffic worse. If I remove this traffic light here and just let everyone sort of free for all it. Oh, there you go. There's an issue. The long buses are stopping at the junction. So the super bendy buses do not like being sat on a corner like that. Let's move the bus stop back along the road. Um, Where are you actually coming from? Okay, let's move your stop onto the main stretch here. So you're not stopping there and stopping the junction. There we go. Okay. Um, did this bus line clear up actually? Because these were really busy in the last episode. Did they get cleared out? I think they did. Yeah, we're okay now. It's all nice and busy. I had a massive traffic issue in the same spot. Yeah, I think we had one, didn't we, during the... I think it was the beach episode. Um, all this was backing up, so we brought in the little relief points just so people can get on and off the highway in a few more places in and around the downtown. Yeah, so as again, we can see some more detailed opportunities here now, so let's have a look at this. So the jacaranda and hedge pattern um, ends along the train line. And then let's see what we can do with this space. Walkability isn't really needed because it goes to another train line. It's absolutely fine. So again, we've got some nice zonable spices here. So why don't we kind of respect an internal crawling height if we can? Let's bring some office zone in. We've got a very small amount of office demand. And then this space here will have some high density commercial. 
And then we'll see if we can just build up a real micro crawling height now. As we come into the downtown. We'll see how this turns out. Sorry, it really did show power out. <laughs> I think you're trying to confuse me, Jennifer. Don't believe you. <laughs> Don't believe you. No, I'm joking. Of course, the power must have gone out. Are those Bendy Buses Vanilla? Um, they are from the Vehicles of the World content creator pack. Um, Soapy Margarita. Um, if you want to go and have a look how much it is, click the pinned comment in the live chat. I'll also post it for you in. Uh, the live chat as well. Uh, go check out the Instant Gaming link. You'll get it for super cheap on there. You get a whole load of new vehicles. Like if you check on the bus line details, you get um, the articulated airport buses, double decker airport bus, bendy bus, double decker, mini bus, super bendy bus. Uh, and they're all different capacities as well. Like these buses hold 70 people compared to Vanilla's 30. So it's the Vehicles of the World content creator pack. You want Soapy Margarita? You can find it on Instant Gaming. Um, I did just see someone ask about how do you do the car part trick for Green Cities Vanilla? Um, I will show you Soapy Margarita. So this one here. Um, you want to zone uh, two by four commercial within a Green City specialized area. You can also do two by two or two by four by two. I think it is. And um, but that will give you a chance to generate something called the Ellison Hypercharger. When you put it in a pattern, you get um, car parks. Yeah, the car parks. Uh, okay, so let's see what's growing up here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I definitely don't want the repeated assets though. So let's remove the pennies, and that's kind of a perfect crawl. Now we start with a burger bite. We move ever so slightly higher up with the pennies, and then we can have the office buildings, and then these guys here. And stay like this. That's absolutely fine by me. We'll also bring in some larger tree parts between the highway. Is that standard? I don't want to use the forest brush here. I'd rather curate these sort of small little forested areas to appeal to how they look. I think it's a slightly nice way of doing them. Okay. That's a little bit of empty space. Been very careful with the zoning, so we've now got small, so like baby bear, mummy bear, daddy bear, and then eggy bear. I've run out of one one bear to do, but you know you get really small, gradual crawling height now. And even though it's such a small little point of focus, adds to the skyline now. Okay, hey Anubis, welcome to the stream, mate. How you doing? Welcome in. I don't think you get the airport buses in the Vehicles of the World that comes with the airport's DLC. It could do, Jay. It could do, yeah. But the, the, the vast majority of them are um, airport buses, uh, Vehicles of the World pack, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go have a look now. There was some other spots. I should have written these down, really, shouldn't I, before we started streaming? Um... We will actually have a look at the airport at night. I actually love the Noobs Guide Airport, especially with the view to the skyline. So, like this perspective here with the big airfields right out in front, especially with the shape of the terminal, too. It's, uh, it's very much appreciated. Let's have a hydration break as well, everyone. There's still 145 of you here as well. Appreciate everyone turning up for a little bit of um, Saturday afternoon. Noobs guide everyone. Fine, fine. You're building on the very map, having a lot of fun. God, yeah. I can't remember what that map looks like now. Not loaded up Navaria for a very long time. Yeah. Hey, DM. Welcome to the stream. Let's have a hydration break and a posture check, too. Love from Malaysia. Love from England, Kuda. Welcome into the stream. Oh, I just placed overgrowth in the airfield. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. 
Cool. Okay. Let's have a little mooch about. So again, I think sort of looking back as to, because I need to start finding ways of squeezing in population into this map. Let's remove a little bit of the forest here, and we'll do what we did over at the starting suburb. Or what we've just done at the starting suburb, rather, by respecting the curvature of the monorail line on a road guide line. And then we can develop some nice little sort of frontage commercial areas. Frontage residential areas to roll alongside this main road that goes deep into downtown Noob's Guide. Or downtown Noob Yoke, I realise it's now called. Yeah, let's re amend that curve so it's not got that little bit of junk in it. There we go, that's what we want. Then just manscape a little bit of the forest back as well. Again, similar palettes that we picked up now can all be used here. Exactly the same like we did with a little sort of bent off pathway. Although we do have more room to do it here, so it's not too bad. And I think a little bit of bush lining is going to be welcome here too. We've not done too much bush lining today. It's very much a firm favourite in vanilla. Just helps to highlight little details that you want to sort of draw attention to. And we'll see what we look like once these houses grow up behind as well. Decide if we're happy with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it was fun to hang out with everybody again. Unfortunately, I got the long holiday weekend. Time to get going. Thank you, Joy. Thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. So many planes in the sky. Yeah, it's like a scene out of Ace Combat, isn't it? Like, there's no... No flight. Oh, look at that. How dangerous is that? <laughs> it's like three planes. All within extreme close proximity of each other. Yeah. It's, it's like Ace Combat. It's not um like a scheduled flight plan, is it? <laughs> like, not at all. Or go and like the map upon a variant I lost an order map of the Steam. That's bold words from Exe. Everyone pay attention. <laughs> and obviously dragged Oridon into it. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Exe. Yeah. <laughs> you can decide what? Yeah. Does it need to refresh your memory? Is that what is it loaded in Navaria? I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you, Lauren? <laughs> if, if we loaded up Navaria. And we, we might come, come the end of the stream if I can load up Navaria. Vanilla. We'll go and have a look at it. If you want. Although I don't think I've got the Navaria mods active. So, um, we'll see. Oh, Michael W with a 20 US dollar super chat. Thanks for making my day with the Noob Sky live stream. Thank you so much, Michael. That's really generous, mate. I really appreciate that. And, um, thank you for watching it. Yeah, I wasn't too sure how the Noob Sky stream would, would perform. But, uh, it's been alright. It's been good. I'm happy with the attendance for a Saturday afternoon. But yeah, we won't be doing them too often. Like I said, I don't want to do too much expansion in streams for this. For this series, I just want this sort of live stream to sit in the playlist. So for those that are following it, they just have like two hours of detailing templates that they can look at and take inspiration from for their own noobs guide. So right here actually would be a good point for walkability because we've got the bus station here. So let's bring this up there as well. And again, we'll bring in the classic pattern of bush line pathways in between. Just to highlight it. Okay. Cool. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I really want to get rid of the power lines now. Yeah, let's just earthquake sensor this. Let's get rid of those, and then we can have a look at a pallet for this area too. Again, I think probably a safety barrier is going to be the most appropriate for which... Probably Zoo Fence lends itself mostly to that vibe of thing, actually, doesn't it? Because it's got kind of a white, almost stone, concrete-looking base to it. Uh, can this earthquake sensor go? Yes, why are you even here? There we go. So no, it's even things like this when we're building and we're just setting up earthquake sensors to come in and link power through before we actually get to the main build itself. Um, and then we just kind of forget about these little areas that just have random earthquake sensors in them that come just become little detailed spots against what is a very sharp drop off the cliff here for people traversing the noob's guide. Okay. Uh, we have to 
have spammer one for time now. Yeah, please don't spam Rusty. The mod's just going to time you out. You can just ask me once, mate. You don't need to spam it. Uh, do you even need to be here now? No, you don't. Leave. There we go. No, it's looking there as well. Don't make us get the angry snowman. Um, I'll I'll load into Navaria after the end of the stream if you guys want. I'll um, I'll boot the Navaria mod set up and then we'll go and have a fly around it. It's been a while since we've been in Navaria, so we'll do that. Um, let's go for that green tree little one. Bring that pallet back through here as well with stronger brush strength. There we go. Okay. So I do feel like these palms on the road are perhaps a little bit too dominant for this area. Um, I think it really breaks it. So if we're going to upgrade down into one of these larger vanilla bushes, that's going to be a little bit more appropriate, isn't it? It's going to expose a little bit of our high density residential over there a bit more too. And again, there's a pattern now where we can bring in the uh, hedging on the linear fence fill with the prop line tool. Wonderful. Let's make sure we're all set up. Let's bring it down ever so slightly. The snowman gangs are rising up. Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are, unfortunately. Can't get rid of them. I would put a snowman covering in noob's guide for you, but I don't have find it, so I can't. Minor variant, not Fremwood. Um, I don't even have the Fremwood. Hold on, do I? Do I have the Fremwood save? Um, I don't think I've even got Fremwood on the PC, actually. Very final build, ILO stuff. Yeah, I don't even have Fremwood on the PC. Yeah. No, there's no Fremwood. It's on the workshop. If I, have, if I want to play it, I have to go and download it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. It was deleted <laughs> because it's crap. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even have it. I can't load Fremwood if I wanted to. Let's go and download it. But you guys will see Fremwood next week anyway when we're doing the little retrospective three years of cities thing. Oh, I need a smaller jockey for this one. Oh, that's really irritating. <laughs> Monorail's right in the way. It's okay though. It's okay. Cool. So we'll just allow that pattern to switch over to the other side now as it comes off this side. I'm happy with that. Okay. A pole here will be perfect. Well, as to what city to load up. I mean, I'll have to download Fremwood. No, I don't, I don't want to go into Fremwood though. I don't even want to give you guys the option. <laughs> I don't want to go into that city. This is, this is bad. Like, you'll, you'll see it next week anyway. Like, you will see Fremwood next week. Unfortunately, you will see it. Okay. I think I'm just appreciating tidying up now this little collector system that runs into the downtown. It's not quite as over the top now. Brought in the same patterns we were using. A little bit of a sort of crash barrier, safety barrier vibe. Against the ring road. And I think we're a little more pleased with it, aren't we? It's a little more refined. Nice. Okay. Uh, there was on one more area I wanted to have a look at. Um, where was it now? Yes, it was over here, wasn't it? So you guys are whinging about low land value. Why? wrong. You've just leveled up too far, haven't you? Outside of the higher value areas. Yeah, with all the baseball courses. Okay, so let's fix this. Let's give these guys some more parks and whatnot over this side of the city. They're a little bit sort of naked and exposed now. Um, so let's also do a little complex here again. So rather than just chucking down park assets for the sake of it, we will place in some of the medical stuff like child health care centers. And then a couple of repeated park spices as well. We'll allow these to take priority. 
then we'll get the child healthcare centre in. And then perhaps a touch of commercial zoning with an elementary school, because we do have elementary demand. Actually, where is the elementary school needed? Where are all the stupid people living? In the oil suburb, aren't they? Okay, we'll place this on the main road for right now then. Does that satisfy our need? No. Okay, we'll go for another one. Um, Let's go for right there. There we go. That's just about in the green. We should be okay. Are we actually down on education budget? No. Absolutely fine. I love how passionate we are about our cities. Yeah, it is. Like, Lauren and Brad are the... Uh, <laughs> like the... Navaria extremists, and then I think there's a lot of Palavan extremists, isn't there? We had that conversation a few weeks ago. Yeah, more love for Fremwood. No thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Sad loss for the world. Hey, Anthony, welcome into the stream, mate. Welcome into the stream, buddy. How are you? Mm, not a coin laundry. I don't really want that here. It's also a carry I'm bringing in. Uh, a little bit more of this suburbia residential pattern that's out here. We'll definitely get more population to this front. I think I might also do a um, sort of high density frontage network to blend out this side of the suburb where it's going to end. I also want to start breaking a lot of these very rigid lines that are starting to develop. Let's bring in some different shapes and sizes where we can. That one down. Let's break off the pattern here instead. Let's then throw an angle off this side. Let's break some houses here. Do another shattered angle. And then a connection through here as well. Okay. Slightly better, isn't it? Slightly better. And then we can zone up here too. Okay. Happy with the burger bite, as always. That's some, like, classical OE lore, isn't it? The burger bites. Actually, no. Let's do some part life property down here. Let's go in for... A little pavilion. In the middle. And then we'll do some benches. All the way around. Should actually definitely do these on a prop line tool fill because otherwise they're going to look super weird and mismatched. Right, let's come off linear fence fill though. Don't want that for this. It's too many. Let's increase the spacing. By about three. There we go. That's what we want. And then this side too. And then a little tiny vanilla dirt pathway. Let's come off all our snaps. And then maybe a classic yew tree, which we haven't really used that much in the noobs guide. With just some smaller little Perhaps wild hedges from the... Or the roadies as well from the content creator part. I know Jen's going to enjoy that. That was partnered with a little wild hedge as well. Okay. Cool. There we go. It's going to sit nicely behind the back of the child healthcare centre, isn't it? Yeah, I'm still respecting the vibes that are generated from the forestry area here too. I really like this forestry build. This was a nice one. Yeah, enjoy this. I love the little frontage sort of... Which ones are these called? Saplings? Yeah, the sapling greenhouses. Love the aesthetic of these. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably cry. I think I prefer Noob Yoke. Can't decide between Yoke or Palavan. Really, James? You would compare Noob Yoke to Palavan? I think Palavan blows Noob Yoke well out of the water, I think. I think Noob Yoke is probably better planned than Palavan is. But in terms of the overall build, yeah, I think, yeah, Noob Yoke doesn't come close to it. 
I'd probably cry when Ilos comes to an end. I cried when the downtown was built. <laughs> yeah, Eggs is right. There's there's a lot of life in Ilos yet. The only thing that will stop Ilos will be the node count, but now we're aware of it. We're trying to manage it, so we should be okay. But Ilos will be around for a while yet. At least for the rest of 2022. It's not going anywhere. Yes, I will ugly cry <laughs> when Ilos is done. I cried at Palavin's finale. I didn't even watch it. The Palavin then was emotional, Jen. Yeah, it was. It was, Exy. Yeah, that was quite an emotional premiere, that wasn't it? Saying goodbye to Palavin. Yeah, it was. It was nice, though. Okay, cool. So these patterns are growing out now. We're starting to satisfy a touch of that residential demand. I might place some here. Just a little bit more zoning. I don't usually like zoning around roads like this, but we can do it occasionally. Let's make sure that no one by one spaces have been allowed to spawn here either, because I've spent all stream talking about how not to use them. So let me actually follow my own advice. Okay, again, awful vanilla high density assets have been allowed to come in. Delete them. Don't allow them. Let's make sure that's the last one, I think, right? Yeah, it should be. Okay, so why don't we play with a little sort of block of high density residentials here if we can? I think there's quite a nice tower block in the 4x4 pattern, isn't there? If I remember rightly. I probably have it in the city somewhere. I can just go and check where it is. Okay. Let's wait for them to grow up. Although we have to satisfy like a massive chunk of commercial demand though. Uh, residential demand though. So... Um, so actually brings some commercial into the suburb, so it's kind of like a mixed use sort of area. It's not just residential. Oh, auto save, sip of tea for the Biffa fans in the chat. Isn't there a mod for the node count now? Um, no, I don't think so. It's not not yet. Is that Exy? Exy knows. That's sexy, not me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was so hard because it was not looking forward to a snow build. Did you actually enjoy, did you hate, I mean, it's absolutely fine if you did, Sarah, but did you hate the uh, snow build? Did you hate Navaria? There we go. I'm happy with these little clusters of commercial. Let's save these. Yes, please. Love the laundromat asset. It's a very nice one. Oh, Rachel, welcome. Nice to see you. First, good morning. Is it morning in Australia now? I think it is, isn't it? It should be. Yeah, it should be. Uh, okay. Okay, I don't want to do too much expansion here. Like I said, I want these sort of noobs guide streams to be detail focused as opposed to expansion focused and sort of trimming up any horrific assets that we see that I have accidentally let spawn in. Historical all these ones. And then this as well. Okay. There is a mod to check it, but not a mod to make it bigger. The phrase on that question was loaded. <laughs> there. No, it didn't end up hating the variant and got myself an evil occupation up on the hill. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she did, didn't you? On the, uh, on the, um, what's it called? P15. That's it. Yeah, P15. By the way, how do you get the bookstore as commercial? I don't have it. I love this asset. Um, that is a university city content creator pack. Uh, commercial unit, Anubis, you need the university city stuff, and uh, this will fall into your commercial pool. Okay guys, I think we're going to leave Noob's Guide there, uh, we've done some pretty chunky detailing tonight, and then we're going to go load up Novaria, I think, alright, we'll go load Novaria, we can have a fly around it, and then we'll say goodbye, okay?
Cool. Okay, so let me save uh, the progress here. Let's go for 19. Yeah, we can, we can do it. Save it as 19. Okay, and then we will um, jump out to Steam, and then I will switch out my mod set for Novaria. Just give me like two minutes here, guys. It won't be a second. That is for those that want to hang around for a Novaria recap. If you don't, then feel free to dive away now. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out on the Noobs Guide streams if you are leaving now. Uh, okay, so let me grab the game state for Novaria. We will load this up for says. Cool. And then we'll jump back up again. It looks like Exy's got some achievements. Well done, Exy. What have you done? Um, have 15,000... Oh, Exy did quite a nice airport, actually. If you haven't seen Exy's little airport. It's quite cute. Everyone had Exy on Steam. <laughs> Spammy with requests. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So fun to see a live stream of Noobs Guide. Yeah, I'm glad, um... I'm glad you guys have enjoyed the Noobs Guide live streams. Um, yeah, like I said, they won't be too often, just, you know, when big patches of, um, sort of detailed space can open up, we can do a, a news guide stream. Okay, Novaria, where is Novaria? Um, beat before the Ilos, there we go. Oh, wait, let me load up the... Uh, um, Novaria Airport retest, yeah, because I did, yeah, I rebuilt the airport, didn't I? Yeah. Custom map is missing. Oh, have I not got the. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've not got the theme. The Icy Waters one. Uh, I need that. I do need that. Hold on. Sorry. Just let me go subscribe to the theme. There won't be a second. I was not prepared for this because I wasn't planning to do it, but. Just let me go and grab the Icy Waters theme from Navaria. Um, I apparently don't even have the map. Okay, that's not great. Let's grab Icy Waters as well. There we go. Okay, right. Now we can do it. My apologies. <laughs> not prepared to load up Navaria. But we will try. We will try. I loaded Ilos and got the achievements. Okay, Exe. Nice. Happy days, mate. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. I tried loading the Navaria save and just got a weird void with no actual city. That's not healthy, is it? That shouldn't be happening. We're in the Discord, Soapy Margarita, we can try to figure out why. Uh, okay, Navaria Airport retest. There we go. Cool. Oh, Gary Kleitz with another four ninety nine US dollar super chat. We'd love to see zip codes in cities too, or even a zip code mod would be cool to tie services and schools into. Yeah, that would be a quite fun approach to that problem, actually. Yeah, if you could sort of... I guess you could tie a zip code system into a district tool, couldn't you? I guess you could. That, that'd be quite fun. Thank you for the super chat as well, mate. Really appreciate that. Super generous. It's second one today. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> That's really nice of you. So we're just going to load into Navaria for a little bit before we wrap it up today. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little fly around Navaria. It's been a while, hasn't it? A long time. When did the very finish? It's about October. It's a broken asset for some reason. Okay, whatever. Let's just ignore that warning. Are we alright? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Welcome back to the relentless white of Novaria, everyone. So, yeah, for those that haven't seen this, this is our uh, vanilla snow build. Uh, well, vanilla, vanilla with quality of life mods. This one had 81 tiles. And, you know, we, we probably could have carried on in the area. Like, there was all this space out here we could have filled, but I was just, I was so done with the snow. I couldn't, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I was just, uh... Oh, but yeah, let's have a little fly around the area, shall we? So, um, this is one of my favourite builds, the cargo port. The traffic in this turned out perfectly. And then there's an overcharged egg four-way interchange, which looks awful. <laughs> this is done in vanilla. Yeah, can't, can't do this. I wasn't a fan of this. And then, um... Yeah, there's uh, the Few Candy Government District. Yes, we did the little government plaza over here, didn't we? With uh, the snowman coven as well. There they are. 
the uh, Coven Mint, I think, was the, the name for this one, wasn't it? <laughs> I think this is the, the Coven Mint. And, uh, yeah. It was... Oh, yes, this... The, the symmetry view here down to the, the government square was good. Enjoyed this one at night time. And, uh, what else was that? Yeah, so if anyone's in the Noobs Guide playlist and currently experiencing this cities, um, I'll leave a link down to this playlist in the description below. Um, if you want to come and see Noobs Guide, or Navaria, even. This was one of my favourite views in the cities. From uh, Minor Square across to the downtown. This was like wonderful. I really enjoyed this view. And then also all these parallel bridges that we had going over here as well. Just activity city. Walkability, trams, bikes and road. Yes, please. <laughs> so good. So good, yeah. Love this part of town. Love the cargo port. You could load it with a different theme and see how it plays out the snow. We actually did that, Soapy Margarita. Um, I've got screenshots, actually. I might put them on a... Put them on screen, there was something hilarious. Get to see the ski resort one last time. Yes, do you want to go see the ski resort, Brad? Yeah, this is the Brad Stanton ski resort. Where we did some things with the little ski... What are these called? Ski lodge. Yes, cute. This is alright. Then Green City's car parks with the unique spa hotel unique. Like a little fishing sort of bit down by the lake as well. I love the water in this theme, Exe. This is like so nice. Yeah, I really like Navaria's water. It's like proper like crystal clay mountain water. Or that's all cold, yeah. Big vibes. And then we had a, a snowman coven at the top of the ski slope, didn't we? Yes, there we go. Yeah. And then this has a wonderful view across the entire city too, which will pop a little bit of nighttime spice on for for Brad. Yes. It's making me smile actually being back in Navaria. However, I'm almost sure that that smile will slowly degrade into a migraine as the, the white kicks in. At the airport, of course, we get black terminals with the airport's DLC on a snow map. This was quite a nice discovery. And, uh, I actually quite enjoyed Navaria's airport reconfiguration. It was a lot better than the vanilla setup, I think. The outside of it's a bit dodgy, though, isn't it? Uh, it's not great. It's very, it's very vanilla. It's very vanilla. Um, the ore mines, these were simply ore deer, weren't they? These were, these were nice. I enjoyed these ones. Well, you can turn and play without hide it, Bobby. Now because the um, the pollution is back. Love this the hydroponics facility that we did out of the farm stuff and the modern is it the modern farm vertical farm vertical farm yeah that's it yeah so sort of like a so sort of like it still functions as a farm area from the industry's DLC but by using some of the more modern looking assets and changing everything to warehouses we managed to create like a hydroponics facility, so not a particularly sort of traditional farm, if you like. I really like the way this turned out. Oh, Lauren J with a 50 NOK super chat. Thank you for making my week. You're very welcome, Lauren. Thank you for the super chat. Lovely. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's all right. <laughs> it's only loading up one of my old uh, vanilla saves. It's okay. <laughs> Karina Marina, yes, we're arriving here now, Karina, yes, Karina Marina, here it is. Yes, the original Karina Marina, yeah, or the v vanilla Karina Marina, I should add. Yeah, we did all these repeated tower blocks with green cities. This is such a nice aesthetic, with the plazas and tower block repeated patterns. If you take that as a spice sample, the plazas really open up the, the forecourt to the towers. Quite a nice design. And then, what else do we have here? Yes, this, over, over this side, this was really nice. I enjoyed this. With all the sort of specifically placed land, uh, snow dumps, so we could. So let's actually turn on the weather, because I got slated for that throughout the entire series for not playing with the fucking snow on. Even though it makes, like, no difference, apart from, like, slower road speeds, like, who cares? Oh, Brad Stanton with a two Australian dollar super chat. Thank you, Thank you, Brad. Thank you, super chat, mate. <laughs> really appreciate it. 
Really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah. Love the train lines through here. There's a lot of it I don't really remember, to be fair. I feel like this campus was a little bit wet. It's not very consistent. It's really spread out. I did like this, though. The tray, the study halls facing into the metro line. If we can wait for metro to come past. This at night time was particularly spicy, I think, as well. Yeah. Especially when you stick the skyline behind it as well. Oh, actually, do you know what? The best view in the city at sunrise is this one here. This was unreal. This was like a massively happy accident with the sun. Just at sunrise, it happens to centralise, like, perfectly above the canal as you look down into the downtown. <laughs> Isn't that just perfect? Oh, yes, I remember seeing that in the cinematics. I was like, oh, yes, please. Oh, and then the, the metro going across as well. Yes, please. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, I really like that one. And then, of course, Peak 15. Yeah, Mass Effect tribute. The sort of top secret research facility on the mountain. This was a pain in the ass to build. <laughs> this is, took so much planning, so much terraforming in the vanilla game as well to get all these to fit. And it was just just a colossal ball ache to, to build this one, yeah. <laughs> it was a nightmare. But really fun though, like really creative use of assets. So you know how we were talking about the noobs guide a minute ago? about just being creative with the placement and orientation of assets and combining them with other themes to create sort of mini complexes. This is the definition of that. Um, this is like, well, if you if you like, if you'll excuse the pun, this is the peak of that thought process. Yeah. Screenshot, what, do you want a nighttime screenshot from P15? That one? Yeah, I'll take it and put it in the Discord for you, Brad. I'll put it in the uh, Navaria channel. I'll tag you in it. Yes, and then the cable cars right across the mountain with a thousand earthquake sensors because I had to transfer the power. <laughs> yes. That was funny. And then you have some repeated part stuff with a, a deep space radar over here too. Uh, what else was there? Some of the rural towns are really nice in Navaria actually. Um, this is over there, yeah, isn't it? Yes, over there, yeah. Um, really enjoyed the use of the American Trust Bridge over the islands here. In this part of the city. The American Trust Pillars and Content Creator Keys are a very nice combination. If you can get them in together like that. Yes, we did the little trees with the little green cities tricks all the way around it. So, sort of lots of really thin uh, green cities zonings. Surrounded around the Joshua Tea Tree. And, uh, yeah, it's cute. There's one of the Content Creator Stations out here. There's nothing massively important about this area, though. Trains are getting some nice use. Uh, um, could you grab a screenshot of the sunset you had a minute ago? What, the one with the canal? Yeah, no problem, I'll do that. The Navaria has lost power at night time. Yeah, it's about 20 past 5, isn't it? Yeah, I'll get this one for you. Let me speed the game up so it's central. There you go. Yeah, I'll put that in um, the Navaria channel in the Discord, guys, for those that want Navaria screenshots. If you want any more area screenshots as well while we're here, then put it in the live chat. We'll get them. Um, and then, sort of, again, as we've discussed in Noob's Guide, losing layers of height, there's a really great example of it here in Navaria, um, where we brought the metro suburb through, which a few candy actually called out my naming convention again for this one. <laughs> it's like Metro Suburb. Everything else is really eloquently named, but this is literally Metro Suburb. But you know, the point of elevating something onto a little embankment and allowing it to flow through your suburb like that, parallel with arterial and collector systems, it uh, makes a big difference, doesn't it? Then you know, just, just leave and get elevated, which you can do. There's no problem with that. But um, yeah, it's just different ideas. Things that change up the look of the city. This is one of my favourite areas. The um, the Jeff Waterfront. Yes, the uh, all the walkability here. Yes, I think this is probably my favourite area of Navarre, I think. Especially at night time here. 
with all like the modern city center light things and with the skyline behind it and peak 15 on the peak just you know a thousand yes pleases for the Jeff waterfront all the people walking on the keys as well just uh so good <laughs> so good this is really quite beautiful thank you Jen I'm glad you enjoyed it let's get a little bit of walking symmetry here shall we on the Exy River Gardens, which is on the other side. Uh, beautiful, so pretty. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. Really enjoyable stream. Lovely detail on Noob's Garden. So nice to see Naveri one more time. I'm glad you guys enjoy these little recaps. I always feel quite vain <laughs> if I'm like recapping one of my old cities, but um, yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. I guess like, this is a lot of your guys' sort of lockdown memories tied up in these builds, right? Like mine as well. Sort of like these are all the COVID cities where we spent so much time together in streams and comment sections and you know naming things after after like Brad and stuff and, and all that sort of, sort of jazz. Yeah. There's a lot of memories tied up in these pixels, isn't there? If that's not a very dramatic thing to say. Pure tramp on here as well. Yes, please. Oh look at that, it's so busy. Oh, we crashed. No, the Steve Goodwin Zoo has hit level 4. Wonderful. Yeah. What else have we got? What else did we do? Oh, I remember doing the little dilapidated sort of construction site. Using some of the ore buildings. Like it's an old knackered sort of tourist retreat that's being ripped down. This was a really cute idea. Um, so we left the abandoned hotels in. And then dropped in some oil industry stuff as though the area is currently being ripped down. I really enjoyed this theme. It's very janky. It's, you could do this idea a lot better with some mods. A little bit of anarchy and move it and find it would go a really long way to bringing this vibe together. But, um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I really enjoyed the big sort of main uh, collector road we bought through. Oh, Jesus. High density residential. Ignore that. That's grown up <laughs> since... I'll tell you what, these grew up whilst I was doing the airport. These actually weren't part of the final skyline. Uh, and the, the transport hub as well, this has a very nice view from here. With the um, the transport plaza out front. Again, just love doing skylines <laughs> in, this, in this game. So good. Yeah. yeah. And a big thumbs up for Exy for creating this map. Yes, Exy did a wonderful job of remastering Frozen Shire. Really wonderful job. Um, he made it so much better. Uh, he really should be sort of working for Paradox or Colossal Order, really, right? Recaps are the best. Glad to enjoy them. Um, agree, recaps are portals to memory lane. So enjoyable. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. You should do this more at the end of your video builds. Walk down memory lane. I probably won't do it in the videos. I'm happy to do it on the streams. I probably wouldn't record this. Yeah. Yeah. Took me ages to be brave enough to chat. I lurked heaps there. Did you, Sarah? Good. I'm glad, glad you spoke up. <laughs> yeah. The governor wants a cut, does she? What does she say? The cities are just as much ours as they are yours. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, she does want a cut, doesn't she? Yeah, I'll um I'll split the ad revenue with you with you guys. <laughs> we can we can split it like one to forty eight thousand of a fraction. <laughs> so everyone gets a tiny bit of ad revenue. Off of the streams. <laughs> you can do that if you want. Yeah. Screenshot please. What you guys want a screenshot of the transport plaza? There you go. Yeah, the whole canal district in the various downtown as well I really enjoyed. Especially with the European two lane stone bridge coming over here. Yeah, this was very much the area inspired by Chicago. If you sort of take in this sample here where the canal curves off with metro and real big skyscrapers all sat against it. This was the Chicago inspiration for the city. And then we did... There's a snowman coven here. In the park. Oh, Croco has just loaded back Siege again. <laughs> Looks like he's finally calmed down. He's going back to play Siege again. Yeah, there's a snowman coming here with the monorail going through the, uh, the park here. Yeah. 
We all get about two thirds of a nerd then, yes. <laughs> Should do exit. Transport Plaza is my favourite, is it, Shlane? Yeah. Yeah, it was alright. It was good. Nice city. The, this turned out to be ridiculously busy. And um, this transport hub with harbours, monorail, train, and metro all meeting in one place. And um, should hopefully get an idea of how busy this is once a cruise terminal drops off its passengers. Yeah. How many is here? Only 53 on that one. 362 from this station. Yeah, this was a nice little busy transport hub that we put together. You'll see the walking porn here. It's one of those constant dumps of Sims. Immense possibilities for part life cheese here. Stick a part life gate here and you're absolutely golden. Yes, please. Pure money makers. <laughs> Pure money makers. I love sort of the coastal view of Navaria as well. Especially if you put sort of like the river centralised with the mountains behind it. You can probably get the exact time of day right here as well. If we want to talk about sort of screenshot porn. Just seeing all the little distinctive features of the skyline pop up. I'll screenshot that view as well. I actually like that one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that one. I wish there was a houseboat asset to have on the canals. I, f I kind of feel like the canals in the city is a bit of an afterthought. They don't really feel that fleshed out. And the ferries look ridiculous on them as well. Oh my god, I left the stream running and come back to Navaria. I missed the Relentless White. <laughs> Welcome back, Dave. Yes. Yes, we're just hanging about in the area for a bit. Uh, before we wrap it up. Also, the border crossing. I absolutely love this build. So we use the toll booths on the highway to create and then use like the fire watch towers as watchtowers, basically. And um, with a real big open clearing um, between the Navarian conifer forest and sort of the city boundary. And then a police station, a couple of more industrial looking assets. And uh, yeah, we tried to sort of generate like a border crossing vibe. Um, which I think actually turned out quite nicely. And then of course, in the final cinematics of Novaria, we headed down this way. So like, Ilos is 12 hours south this way. We head down this highway for 12 hours, you'll arrive in Ilos. <laughs> of course, because they're all, they're all interconnected. And uh, yeah, is that the major builds? So it looked over the suburbs, right? Um, not really. Yeah, we did check out Euroven, didn't we? Uh, the, oh, I'll tell you what's really nice is um, the view to the oil refinery from the highway. I always enjoyed this. Seeing sort of the spikes and... Well, not spikes. Yeah, I guess they are little spikes, aren't they? Sort of like little peaks in height from the uh, petroleum refinery. Unique. Again, all this little detail in here to flesh out. This is like poor man's surface painter. <laughs> he didn't have it but wanted concrete. Yeah, it's all the way here. And then, uh... This, oh, yes, the, the nighttime view to the dam, of course, from, um, somewhere, yeah. This is the best, one of the best views in the city. With the highways in the foreground. Like, could you imagine the constant fear of living in this town? I'll get you a screenshot there as well. Um, yeah, just the, the view of the dam in the foreground. Or the background, sorry, with the town in the foreground. Just, uh, yeah, really nice. I enjoyed this town. This was a good one. Um, this one as well. Which one was this one? This was where the heck yeah? Oh, this, <laughs> this was, um, this was the birthplace of the alopecian. Wait, was that the right one? Is, is that how I said it? I said alopecian bears, didn't I? Or, uh, no, alopecian mountains and it's Appalachian. And then I think Eggsy came and he was like, oh, all the hairs, oh, all the bears hairless. <laughs> and I was like, I had no idea what he was talking about. Such an idiot. <laughs> yeah. The Appalachian Mountains. Oh, no, App Appalachian, however I said it. I don't even know which one's the right way now. Yeah, that was hilarious. That was here. But again, the view with the little sort of rural American houses here to the skyline. Gives you a nice sense of scale that we managed to generate in the area, I think. There's quite a nice bit of distance between the rural and the, um, sort of big city vibes, I guess, right? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's a good job you guys didn't have the Eggisms channel, yeah, when I said Appala Appalachian. 
No, that's the right way of saying it, isn't it? Appalachian, I think, yeah. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. The view from the top of the windy highway at dawn is cute. Yes, it is, Exy. It is indeed. Yeah, let's do that one. We'll screenshot you this as well. Yeah, there you go. So watch all the lights come on. Yeah, this was a really nice one. This is like really nice highway work. With all the curves that Exy did for us. Just, just so good. Alopecia. Yeah, I said Alopecian Mountains, didn't I? And it's actually pronounced Appalachian. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's a classic old school leg, isn't that one, isn't it? It is indeed. I'll screenshot this for you as well. You probably want that one, won't you? Yeah, this ain't Noob's Guide. No, it's not, Harry. We'll just have a little trip down memory lane before we call the stream for today. Yeah, let's have a look around Novaria. It's also good advertisement for Novaria. If anyone is watching this Noob's Guide VOD as a Noob's Guide viewer and hasn't seen the city, then they can come and watch it now. Yeah, I think that's kind of it, right? That's all the major builds. Um, little green cities town out here, but there wasn't anything particularly special about this. It's just sort of public transport and green cities with parks and plazas, nothing overly special. I do like the transport connections out of here, though. The little under-the-road thing. Again, playing with layers of height where possible. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good. I mean, I, th I think I'm allowed to say that, right? <laughs> I think I'm happy with it. Uh, oh, yes, the, the courthouse plaza was nice as well. Um, I, I like this. This was the discovery of perfectly paired assets, finding out that the disaster memorial works really nicely out in front of the courthouse unique. Enormous fan of this combination. Yeah. Palavan now. Go to Palavan. No, we'll, we'll do Palavan next time. We'll do Palavan next time, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do it after um, the stream next week. Yeah, we'll go see Palavan. I bet my you guys are gonna see all these cities next week anyway when we do the recap, so don't worry. Like <laughs> there's there's oh yes, of course, how can we forget? Uh, the Mehmet Plaza with the Christmas tree. Centralized outside the cathedral. Which actually it's not centralized, it's off by a tile, but if you angle the camera right, you can't really tell. Yes, the nighttime downtown from the plaza is wonderful. Yeah, and also you put the central park. In the foreground as well. Okay. There we go. Yeah, so Exy's just posted the link to the Navaria map. Um, could one of the mods also grab a link to the Navaria playlist and bang it in the live chat for me as well, please? And in case anyone wants to go watch Navaria from start to finish, then it's there at your convenience. But right, let's go and say goodbye now, though. The um, look at the cathedral. Yes, exactly, Exy. This is where this is appropriate cathedral placement. <laughs> <laughs> Not in few candies I in Grandpa Town. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll leave it here. We'll, we'll play with the Central Park. And then we'll say goodbye. Okay, so let's go see if anyone's streaming cities. Let's see if we can host anyone. Um, No, there's no English channels streaming. Okay, so I'm going to host a member of my Discord today. D-Dubs Plays. Um, he is a console player, so it's not for everyone, but it's chill videos, it's nice vibes, and at least he's putting effort into his content. So if you guys can go and sort of feed his algorithm, if you like it, maybe drop him a sub, give him a like as well, get his videos sort of popping again in the algorithm. Like I said, it is console, so it's not for everyone, but if you like it, then, um, you know, you can hang around, basically. But yes, thank you for hanging out on the Noobs Guide streams. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the detailing. We will do these every now and again, just as the Noobs Guide needs detailing for areas that manage to sort of develop like they have done today. Uh, and next time, we'll definitely jump into Palavan as well. We're going to have a fly around Palavan for a bit. And then maybe Begusia one time. And maybe, maybe Friendwood after that. We'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Okay, but thank you so much for modding uh, the governor once she managed to crawl out of bed. Eggsy, Magsy was here earlier, and Few Candy, who is now a new YouTube moderator for us. And they've also generous super chats and 
sort of donations again and memberships guys i really appreciate the support um it, make, it really helps me out it makes a massive difference and uh, i'm glad you guys are still enjoying the content three years in <laughs> so thank you so much yeah i'm glad you all enjoy it and um i'll see you for an episode of noobs guide on monday and then of course the usual uh three-year retrospective vanilla city skylines video will be up next week as well hopefully that's going to take quite a long time to record so i lost might delay it we'll see how we do because it's going to be a big video that one but yes content again as always next week <laughs> thanks for hanging out everyone all the regulars uh, lauren and brad of course the two big navaria fans today uh, michael uh, jude vambulance uh, brad for your candy lauren dj kiara jennifer eta sarah jude soapy margarita karina you're all legends guys thank you for hanging out on the streams and supporting them i really do appreciate it otherwise i will shut up and i will do it there you will so much for watching as always, <laughs> I can't say this on stream. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Alright, see you later guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.